We doing it? Are we there? Are we twitching? Cool. Let me see. How was the uh, news boys last night? Huh? Yeah, I, mean, I do. Because always... I care. It's fantastic. I mean, it's it's uh it's it, the upward trajectory on this thing. I just, just... kind of that's what I wanted to ask Zach. You know, I wanted to get like he says that every week. You know. It's it's a phenomenal show. We we crushed it yesterday. We cr we'll crush it next week. It's it is what it is. Yeah, I'm just trying to be a friend by asking, and, and then you guys are just kind of like beating your chests, and I don't know. No, we're being modest. Oh, okay, that's good. <laughs> <No. laughs> Darren, what's up, dude? How are you? I'm doing good. I'm I'm trying to fix my my headphones here. So give me a minute. You've got a very cool outfit going. I'm gonna say I like that shirt. Yeah. Oh, look, my sweater. You look yeah, carelessly look cool. You're dressed like a criminal. Didn't God criminals dress right. like that? They sure do, Trevor. He doesn't have a little mask on. Why did criminals start dressing in black and white stripes? Was it a McDonald's thing? The, the criminal... <laughs> it's for <laughs> prison so that you would, you would stand out if you broke out of jail. They did it because like what really robbers wear. It matched those bags with the dollar signs on it and those bombs that were just big black circles with a string. It kind of went with the whole image, you know. So. Rob of the East donated 100 bucks an hour ago before we were even on, and he says, oh, every yeah. Saturday is the new adventure with you guys. Can't wait to see movie updates. Thanks, Rob of the awesome. East. Fucking mm. rock and roll. Oh, let me, Trevor, you've got the chat right over your face. Let me see what I can do about that. Although it's kind of cool. I mean, the way this is configured, maybe I just got to lose the chat. Off the screen. Oh, I like the chat on the screen. You do? All right. Mm -hmm. I can have chat over my face. That's cool. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah. Oh, I'm oh, louder than everyone else? Trevor. All right, let me fix that. Thank <laughs> I'm you. I'm okay with Trevor's face being covered up a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Am I better? I hope my I hope the audio issues... Keep me posted on the audio issues, guys. I don't Ready? want to overpower anything. Timmy, Timmy camera upgrade. Are you yeah, saying Timmy I got a new camera. Because I just did. Okay. That they're, so they're acknowledging that it's happened. I think okay. they're noticing. It's, it, it, seems it, be, it, looks it seems to better. be a wider, makes, wider angle. It makes you look like angle. you don't live in, um, like you live in a nicer house. I don't though, but see, that's why the, that's how good the camera is. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. shit! I forgot to turn the T alarm off. Yeah, I can't get these to work. Um, mm. what's up, everybody out there? Hang on, let me let me do. Uh, Oh, Goldbug donated yesterday. I didn't read this out. I always like to read out the donations. I feel like it's, it's the good. least we could do. He said, the reason your chat is toxic at times is because it's almost completely unmoderated, which I'm fine with. But to be clear, you guys, to be clear, there are wholesome streams out there. I love you guys. So, yeah, Newsboys, we were talking about how, like, 70% of all the comments in chat while we're streaming are, are kind of mean. Oh, really? Well, we were wondering if that's a Newsboys thing or if that's just all Whitest Kids streams thing or if that's just all of Twitch. People seem to think chats. it was all of Twitch. What's that? I think Twitch. I think we have... Uh, um, oh, someone said they lost their sense of smell today. That's not good. Yeah, that's COVID? Uh-oh. COVID? Rut row. That's bad. Do they already... Do, uh, I, I'm not looking at chat right now. I'm doing a fan art thing. But uh, do they already have COVID or they don't know if they have COVID? That's all they said. They lost their sense of smell. I, I'm, I'm under the weather. Are you? Yes. Oh. But not COVID. How do you How know? Because I get tested every other day. Oh, right. Because you're... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and you do the rapid test, right? It's like 15 mm -hmm. minutes? Well, it's, it's 24 hours. It's within 24 hours you find out. But... um. So I'm just, I got a, old, a good old classic sickness. Just, <laughs> Dude, just one of the, the old ones. It's so nice when you feel like that. I mean, because in the fall, like a lot of people just get kind of general crap like that. But now every time I get anything in my nose or head, I'm like, oh God, it's coming back. Yeah. 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 Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, this is 22 letters. Thank you for subbing. Yoshin it up. Thank you. Dublin Waltz. Thank you so much. Twerkin. I love you, Twerkin. X who blocks. Many, many thanks. I'm going to try and stay better about this today, guys. Sorry if I interrupt with okay. this shit. This is 22 letters. I said that. Machublo, thank you very, very much. And Booz Chewbacca. I like that name, Booz Chewbacca. That's a good one. Not bad. 
Not bad. How long do you guys think it's going to be before, like, we can go to a wet market without thinking about this? What is a wet market? Fall of 2020. That's how this whole thing started, Tim. Yeah, it's it's where they, oh, uh, oh. they yeah. And I when do you I, think you'll be able to eat? What, what is it? A pangolin? What the fuck was a the pangolin? Name of it? Pangolin and bats. Pangolin. Well, here's what's fucked up: is I don't know if I'm ever gonna be able to eat a pangolin without being a little sketched out because of this whole situation. <laughs> you will for the first few handful of times, but you'll get over it. I mean, because if, if I know great, Trevor, you love it. eating pangolin, man. So do you really want to give that up? Everyone does. It's a totally normal thing to eat. Uh, <laughs> But uh, yeah, I don't, I just, uh, I don't know. I think, I just feel like it's always going to be with me a little bit. I mean, what kind of world do we live in where a man can't enjoy his pangolin, right? I mean, sit down with the family on a Sunday and fry up some pangolin. So that, the pangolin looks like it's like a giant aardvarky kangaroo with armor. It looks like an armadillo. Right. Yeah. Yeah. It just, it just looks fucking delicious. That's, that's what it's like. You see it. Your first thought is, "I gotta, I gotta in my belly." <laughs> Take my teeth into that shit. Yeah. yeah. Oh my god, I'm uh, it... collecting some fan art to, right now, you guys. If I seem to, yeah, yeah, do it. Bubble Boop gotta, donated. Gotta, he says, "Can you bring out the severed goat head again?" But this time, use it like a puppet. Who yeah, is the severed goat head? DJ Gentle I... Giant says, "I went to the bank today and deposited a dollar and quarters just to donate my last dollar again." So Timmy oh, knows no. he's a god. It's for you, what Timmy. What a sweetheart. Or is that an irresponsible decision? No, it's a sweet. He's a sweetheart, right? Right? Yeah. And Ron Gina donated twenty five bucks. Says since basically everyone is subbed already. Here you go. It's Saturday. Thank you, Ron. Oh, Gina. thanks, Ron. He's the best. It's- and Galakar's donated. He says I'm late. Rewind five minutes. Okay, we'll do that momentarily. And Aram Guard donated and says backseat of the bus sketch. That's not a bad idea. We we could do that. There Can it is. There's that? the severed goat oh. head. We didn't do that one yet. Did we do backseat of the bus? I don't think we did. I don't think we did. The first thing I saw today was someone saying uh, mountain of chairs, and people are yelling that one a lot, so maybe, you know. We owe those... mountain of chairs because I think somebody donated a lot last week, and we were going to oh, do they? mountain of chairs, and then everyone just kind of oh. bailed. Yeah, I uh, I feel like, you know, that's one of those ones that people have been wanting. So yeah. Wait, where is Sam? Do we know why Sam's not here? We can't talk about that on live. Oh, something with his balls again? Yeah. Okay. Oh. So he's not going to be on all day, right? Okay. Be right no back. Sam today, guys. Sorry about it's that. Fucking balls, man. He's got ball problems. Ball problems. Check it and see. That doesn't work. A little bit. Timmy, what'd you do so, this week, uh, man? What's been going on? Huh? What? What have you been doing? What's going on with you? Um, you know, just uh, working and parenting, man. I uh, haven't really been doing anything else exciting. What do we? What do we got going on? Uh, Did your hot brother come on Zucchini Boys again? No, he didn't. He let me have the stage. Uh, I made a, what did I make? Oh man. Zucchini boys. I made a a Hawaiian plate. I did Kahlua pork. I slow cooked pineapple on a cast iron pan and I made edamame and had some white rice. So and I made instant microwave rice, like cheap shit. People afterwards were like, why didn't you use your instant pot? It's like, well, that's where the pork was. Cause the other way you cook Kahlua pork is you dig a hole in the ground and fill, put an actual whole pig in there with hot rocks. I didn't have that kind of time. Alive or dead? I think you, it's dead, but uh. it's like, oh, ooh, look at wow, that. Look at Dan. Oh, oh, oh. Wait, oh, is God. that from the show? Yeah. Wow. That's the hippo, man. That's, That's pretty the cool. hippo. Ed. Wow. Right now, right now, there's a hippo with a deer in. Look at that. Uh, Trevor's getting his heads, and we're going to have our heads talk. It's going to be a head oh. off. Trevor has a head for what? He is- has uh, the goat head and the oh. a deer head. What goat head? From uh, Colt. Colt sketch, right? Oh, yeah. The what sketch? The Colt sketch. Oh, the, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. Jeez, man. Uh, hang on, let me do a couple more donations coming in. Okay. Hold on and hang on, Donate. He says, rushed home to late night McDonald's uh, run to make it home for uh, self like Saturday. Had to reverse in the drive through because I almost forgot my cone. Love you guys. <laughs> It's not that much of an emergency if you're reversing to get your ice cream cone, but you know, do your thing. You do you. Uh, the Flying 69 says, How much do I have to donate to have Drake Bell written into the new movie as a character who just oh commits heinous crimes throughout, much like his real life? Uh, $300,000. Because that's not a good beat for our movie, but if you're going to pay for the movie, I'll write it in for you. 
Uh, and Watch Opus donated five dollars. He says, "Can you watch the Opus sketch?" <laughs> oh no! Is, how long is that one? It's long. It's like eleven and, or twelve minutes, right? Yeah. It almost feels like too long to watch on a stream. Yeah, I, I was gonna say that it kind of. Although is we could watch it in chunks and then comment on the chunk and then move through it yeah. like chapter by chapter. That's true. That's not bad. Which would be is fun. it weird? Is it weird to do this stuff without Sam? Not to me. <laughs> um, Maybe a little bit. I don't know. I don't know how he feels about Opus. We could try to play a video game we, we, uh, together. We've never done like a video game on Twitch, I, which is what everybody I does on not, it. I'm definitely all for that. I just feel like we're going to have so many technical difficulties. Like, not us. Be people waiting for 30 minutes for us to get it yeah. up. Yeah. Yeah. Is it hard I think to do? We should plan for it, and we should all jump on early and make sure that we can do it. <laughs> Someone says Jackbox would be cool. Yeah, we did that with those other guys at one time. Someone says Trevor seems sauced. Are you sauced, bro? Nope. Did, just, did you that's live just, a base, bro? That's just my uh, my vibe, man. He's just a he's a parrot head. Yeah, <laughs> just a chill guy. Yeah, it's probably my fault. Yeah. Oh, that's a weird one. Got to get that one in. Um, excuse me, I got a little burpee there. I'm cool with whatever. Um, next week I'll be on the uh, abandoned gaming PC that was given to me, so uh, I'll be able to really do some shit then. Timmy, are you going to get a PS5? Are you nah, looking no, no plans to get a new console at this mm. juncture. Got it, got it. What do but, you have, uh, now, Timmy? It's just a huh? PC. Do you, what do you have now? This is a laptop that I got a couple of years ago. And then um, a guy made my brother Daniel a gaming PC and gave it to him. And Daniel's like, cool, I don't play games. <laughs> so he like gave it to me. Why did a guy said, give him a gaming PC? I don't know. His friends are weird. Uh, you know, uh, I, I really don't know. But um, anyways, I'm just getting a monitor for it. And then once I do, I'll have all the shit that I need for it. So, yeah, it should be fun. Yeah. Wait, somebody said that Sam's brother Nate got two PS5s. Are you fucking kidding me, dude? Did he do that? Is he one of those guys? Nate, yeah, are you in here? Is... If you're in here... Nate, answer you for talk. your crimes. There's some... Uh, I saw some on eBay for like $1,000. Yeah, there's That's a bunch on eBay for like double the price, but I just don't feel right Nate. doing that. No, are I you wouldn't. guys waiting for yours or pre-order? I'm just waiting to be able to buy one, dude. They're sold out of everywhere. I can't get them. Darren, did you get one? Anyone else get one? I, I've got no time for that. Yeah, same here. See, that's the thing is, I just haven't been interested in getting the new consoles. You know, I just yeah, but I have that's because you guys have some... kids. Yeah, well, I mean, my daughter and I play stuff on the Switch, and we still dip back into Skyrim on the Xbox One, and that's kind of like oh, fine right now. You know, we made a we we went into Skyrim and made peppermint. That's fun. Oh, that's really? cool. Yeah, she's great. She's actually really good. <laughs> Take a picture of her. Yeah, I, dude, I, I'll boot up. I'll bring it next time. Don't let me forget. I don't. The Xbox. I'm not gonna get it all going right now because my Xbox is actually getting weird. If my so, Xbox dies, then I'll buy something. Someone new. says, "Why is everyone such a Sony cuck? Stop pl uh, buying PlayStations." Yeah, fuck, fuck that person. Uh, Cornbread in Cambodia. Yes, I did get your poster that you sent, but you didn't put a return address. <laughs> so whisper at me and tell me where you want me to send it back. Um, pork sweats. Uh, thanks for gifting, my friend. Pork sweats always, always comes through. Yeah. Wait, people are sending you posters? Well, somebody sent me a poster of um, of this so that we would sign it and then return it to them. But you know what I think? I, I actually reached out to this artist and asked if he would be cool with us selling these. So if we were to sign them and sell them to raise money for the movie. So we need to figure that out with him. So I think this is the only time we're going to actually for free sign and send to somebody. But and he, but did he say yes or no? He said yes, but we have to figure out like a terms thing. So Got it. But he, he's down. Someone cool. says, I love how gross porn language has entered the mainstream vernacular. And that reminds me, how's our Pornhub doing? Oh, yeah. I, uh, Sam's in charge of the Pornhub. Is that where he is right now? He keeps, he's, yeah, but I talked to him about it today. He's, I was like, how's, what's up with the Pornhub? He goes, oh, I keep trying to check and I keep getting distracted. <laughs> well, you know, what I, you, know, you know what somebody wrote? I'm, joking, I'm lying. Oh, somebody wrote me <laughs> and was like, and was like, um, they're I got never Darren with that one. That was good. <laughs> Someone said they're never going to let you have something with kids in the title on Pornhub. Ooh. And I was like, oh, that's smart. You know, uh, I never thought about that. But I, I think we'd have to just call it WKUK. That would work. 
Or yeah. just change to like whitest bleached assholes, you know? Would that work? Amy. Um, Everyone, M- please take my idea seriously. <laughs> M12 Sars donated. says, can you guys make fun of Sam like you did in the season one commentary when he was late? I don't know, man. That's like capturing lightning in a bottle. Succubus Sally donated. She says, my lips got fucked up from the cold air, so I got the spiciest wings I could for Self Suck Saturday. Okay. Knock yourself out. Talon donated. Says, I'd love to see you guys watch Happier With Your Mouth Open. And Twerkin donated 20 bucks. Thank you, Twerkin. It says, the mods around here suck. Aren't you a mod, Twerkin? You're a mod. Good Lord. (laughs) Um, we should watch Happier with the Mouth Open. Yeah, so yeah. Yeah. let's start up the list here. We're going to watch Happier. We're going to watch Mountain. What was the first one somebody said? Uh, Opus. Oh, no, but there was one that you said before that, that somebody, uh, Happier, Mountain of Chairs, that we were thinking maybe we had already, I was like, maybe we already watched that one, but I can't remember what it, what was it. It was, uh, oh, Backseat of the Bus. Uh, we haven't yeah. watched that. Uh, can we, we watch that? On Twitch? No, he can't. It has nudity. nudity. Oh, because the boobies. Uh-huh. Yeah. Backseat of the bus does? Yeah, it has nudity. Yeah, dude. It's got uh, that, uh, that girl that did so much topless stuff for us. It was like 40 degrees out, too. Yeah. Was it really? In a car. Yeah, yeah they're driving. Oh, oh yeah. Been... The car pulls up. How did we shoot that in the world without getting we just, in trouble? We just did it. <laughs> we just did it. Was that so cool. by college or something? I think uh, it was by college. I don't know. I think it was up at King's College. Yeah, or King's, the one over by Coney Island, that one? King's yeah. Girl, Have, King. Did we ever do commentary for Sam's Balls and talk about how that's really Sam's Balls? No. no. Can we do that one on this, though? Well, we I probably mean, can't do it on Twitch, but we should definitely do right. it. Yeah, we he should also do it. So upset if we did Sam, we did commentary on Sam's Balls and he wasn't here. Dude, what if we Sam's just did all Sam's sketches while he wasn't here? Someone says Trevor's mouth farting sketch, but I think we did that one. We watched that. Part dinner. Yeah. Someone says, "No fucking way! That's Sam's balls. It is. It they, is Sam's they, balls. Why would they, you not they, believe it? I want to. I want to actually pull that person into the chat and be like, what, what about those balls? Is unbelievable to you?'" They they made uh they made us fake balls, uh for the sketch, but they were like square. We used them when they're, you could see the balls like in his collar because at one point it shows it's it's hanging out his collar. That obviously wasn't his balls. So that was the the balls that they made, but they looked shitty, and so then. We're shooting the sketch and it's a long lens. So like Sam and I are pretty far away from everybody. And they were very adamant. They're like, you cannot use your real balls. Like that. And we're like, okay, we won't. So and we Sam like, had the f- Okay. And yeah. they're like, no, don't say it like that. And don't do it. And we're like, okay. And they're like, guys. <laughs> and so then when we were down there, we're, uh, we're just like, just use your fucking balls, man. Like, and so he actually like, pulled his real balls out. And, and we were also a block from a school. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And for hand pee, he like really peed on his hand. Yeah. yeah. That's him peeing on his hand. Yeah. Yeah. Sam's uh, crazy. <laughs> He's an exhibitionist. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Can uh, we show the remember, balls? There is, do balls sorry. count as nudity? Not uh, to me. I think so. If I had to guess. What do Trevor? Do you remember that time? I don't. I don't remember where we were, but there was all these Polaroids that we were going through, and somebody took a Polaroid of Sam. He was like naked, and he was on his side, and his ass and his balls were like hanging out of his ass crack. Oh, was, what? <laughs> yeah, it was. Yeah. It was There's a Polaroid of this. We used to. It all was the most insane. Photo. Was it on and purpose? I, was he being funny, or was it no. candid? Yeah. Was he? I thought it wasn't. No, uh, no, it, it wasn't. It wasn't because it was basically uh, we used to all go to Massachusetts for Fourth of July to Cape Cod, mm-hmm. and and then we like went over to somebody's house and uh, everybody was drunk and there was this huge like they had like a water slide or a, a water pool uh, like a um, a slip and a, slide a slip and slide and then a pool and Sam like I think did it naked or something like that but then he landed in the water. And someone's like a Polaroid and it's like his balls are behind his butt. Like, and they just kind of, it was just the weirdest Polaroid. Well, he does have a very long scrotum. <laughs> it's like a, it's like a tube sock with, with, oh, with no. something at the bottom. I mean, I we can talk about that, right? He, he's, he knows, like, everyone knows about his crazy long scrotum, right? <laughs> oh, long balls, Sam. Like, I think long he could twirl balls. it if, if he like, 
was in a very hot room. Wait, remember that same night though? We were we were having a bonfire on the beach, and Sam got completely naked. I'm not making this. I'm making up, by the way, the long scrotum thing. But he was running down the beach naked, right? And then remember, he ran, and there was like another group of of people we didn't know. And one of their like alpha males came over to our group and was like, "I don't want to see that gay shit." And, so, and we were like, we were just like laughing. Like, yeah, I don't know. It was it was great. Yeah, like, I remember he was running naked down the beach, and his balls got caught on a crab. <laughs> Wait, he kept stepping on his balls and going like, ah, yeah. Oh. yeah, yeah. And then, and then, and then he sat down because he was so tired. He sat down on a bench to take a, to a, a one of the benches at the beach to like uh, take a load off. And then you and I like snuck up on our like bellies under it, and we tied his balls to his foot so that way when he got up, he like fell and ate shit. <laughs> he was pissed. Yeah. <laughs> oh, uh, Sam yeah. Long Balls Brown. <laughs> Long balls. Cap and long balls. I like dog slogan donated 25 bucks. Thank you so much. And said, I watched yeah. Miss March for the first time. Love when Trevor wakes Zach up by hitting him with a baseball bat and yelling, wake up. All right. Well, I'm glad. I'm glad you like that. Uh, the dilapidated goblin. Good name. The dilapidated <laughs> goblin donated and says, I've been watching you guys since 2010. Love you guys. Can you watch the fight club sketch? Oh, we, yeah. We've got a long list, guys. I wouldn't if if you're donating to re, to request a sketch, you you you're not guaranteed. Yeah, so I'm you just letting be you know. Happy. Uh, so what we got so far? I got happier with your mouth open. Uh, mountain of cheers, back of the bus. Opus, if we you know, depending on what we think of for that, and Fight Club is what I just wrote down. But uh, I don't right, know. I is there remember, anything else? I well, I remember from last week, people were screaming for a Demon Ouija board. Oh, that did happen, didn't uh, it? Well, maybe but, we should do some polls. And let the polls decide. Um, and Jay Leal twenty two donated and says, "A dollar closer to Mars, please show your assholes on stream. If not, watch skit where Trevor throws up at dinner with his girlfriend's parents. By far the best thirty five seconds of Whitest Kids Empire." Okay, well, that is a funny one. Oh, that one we have. You're I don't right. even know I, what that is. Uh, that Actually, one the puking one. Yeah, it just pukes. That's all it is. Right? It's short. I don't even it's know short. it. It, the, 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 I wasn't there that day because, or I wasn't in the set for that. But uh, someone oh. said, I remember people said the puke smelled really bad. I remember it's, that. Here's what they did. So it was, it was like clam chowder, and something else. I'll never and, forget them for this. And this is this is the dumbest thing. Like, so they got the clam chowder, and and we're shooting in July and August in New York City. Right. That's like when we're shooting our show. And so we were going to shoot at this restaurant on like Monday. You know, so they got all the stuff there Friday night and they left the clam chowder in the basement, ah. which didn't have air conditioning. And so it just cooked over the weekend and like all went rotten. And then they were like, well, we have to use it anyway. So it was like rotten clam chowder that we were basically pretending to vomit. Oh. Like everybody was really getting sick. It was, it was disgusting. disgusting. Yeah. Was that Trevor, was that the, the first method that they were trying was like the hose by your mouth or? Yeah, they put a hose right there. And yeah. then I turn my head profile and it shoots out. And I think that's what we used. Uh, I think that's the, what we actually did in it. It just, it didn't look great, but it looked weird. Why right. the fuck are we doing all that? We should be, com this is commentary. That is the commentary, yeah. Uh, someone suggested Bonnie the MILF, which is the MILFy mom sketch, which I wouldn't want to do that one with Sam out here. Yeah, uh, we should wait for Sam. I was are, thinking about, do any of these not have Sam in them, Timmy? Do you, you're keeping yeah. on the list, right? Let me see here. Okay, Ouija. The first two, dude. Sure that was Ouija. the problem with our show. Too many of our sketches had Sam in them. I know. I know. That's why That's why we stopped. <laughs> uh, okay, happy with your mouth open. No Sam, right? You're seeing it? No. No, he's not in that. Okay. Yeah, uh, Mountain of Chairs, he is in that for a little bit. Is he? Isn't he the wife? He's your wife. Uh, I fell down the stairs. Uh, back of the bus, he's in that. Opus, everybody's in that one. Fight Club, he is in that. And Demon Ouija Board, I think we're all in that one. I barely remember that one. So I don't know. There's It's like 50-50. But none of those are like Sam sketches. Right. See, Milky yeah. Mom is like a Sam sketch. Like when someone is suggesting we do one where we all pick each other's favorite girls, like that would be my Sam as a girl sketch just because he was so funny in that as the mom. Well, he was so Milky. In right. I mean, just like you want to. Yes. He was the Milky Mom. Am I Milky? Somebody yeah. says Sam isn't an opus. How's that possible? Well, you I know think, what? I Am think I you're thinking right. of? Yeah. He's Buddha. When we did it live, he played Buddha, but 
Buddha's not in the TV version. Is he not in Opus? Yeah, because remember, we used to give him a hard time for that a lot. We used to be like, talk about how great Opus was, and we would rub it in that he wasn't in it. Because he wasn't there for the writing. Yeah, so we so oh, really? we wouldn't put him. Yeah, he wasn't there for the writing, so we wouldn't put him in that sketch. <laughs> and he would get mad because it would take up like half of our live show. We're like, yeah. So we're just going to do half of the show. I just will be watching. And we're like, yeah. 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 But then we made him Buddha at the end and they, he got the bucket yeah. stilts and you guys had a bucket stilt fight. Yeah, but Man, nobody that liked it. So we could watch yeah, it. Give that for the commentary too. Yeah, you're right. Sorry. Yeah, we Fuck. could watch Opus. Oh, wait a minute. Am I able to record? Uh, I don't know. There's Opus like a there. fight happening in oh, our yeah. chat. There's a there fight happening? Fighting. Yeah, somebody's mad at somebody. Oh, really? Uh, hey, you guys, everybody get along. We're just being chill. Come on now. Damn, didn't. Yeah, I it's our know. job to fight, not yours. <laughs> Two people are fighting in there. Who's fighting? About what? So it says, Dahlicker is anti-Semitic. Uh-oh. How what is that? Fuck? What? That's me. Just remember, guys. Back no, no, I don't think the term doll liquor is anti Semitic. I think no. they're saying somebody in the somebody chat named doll liquor. Oh, oh, okay. I was like, what the <laughs> fuck? Yeah. Oh. You know that old anti Semitic term doll liquor? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what? Wow. Uh, fucking well, no, yeah, nobody be anti Semitic. Yeah, actually, that's the one thing that I am down to ban. I don't even like when somebody says, like, this person is master race. That actually isn't. Let's not do that. We want Bro, everyone I'm literally to be- a Jew, says Dahlicker. Okay, let's just See? like take a pause on all this stuff. How Someone says, that? let's all bully Trevor. And I'm, I mean, yeah, fine. Try it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we don't want anybody to be anti Semitic. Everyone should be Semitic. <laughs> is, that, is that the opposite? Um, okay. Sure, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> everyone be Semitic. <laughs> all right, what are we going to watch? I got to, I'll, I'll be right back. I hear. Issues. Um, are we doing the oh, poll? Well, you can hear him yelling at his <laughs> daughter. <laughs> He's like, I'm doing my show with my friends. Um, it's like, when I am on Twitch, you are supposed to be quiet. Uh, all right, Trevor, you want to pull something up? Pull up a sketch. Did you just play an ad? No, but I will play an ad. No, because somebody said, fuck these ads. Fuck these ads? Yeah. But I haven't run an ad. I don't know where I put that box of clean But I'm running one now. Boom. You can run an ad? Yeah, we're supposed to. Oh. Yeah. I just ran one. Um, What are we doing, guys? Trevor, are you pulling something up? I'm looking one up. I'm looking one up. Okay, cool. I'm typing as fast as I can go. Uh, Walt McGinty, thanks for subbing. Rough Lopian Tubes, thank you so much. Ben Bono, thank you. Ben Bonu. Uh, Big Ass Bus Driver resub, thanks, buddy. Zion Morningstar, cheers, my friend. Pass it left. Wow, Sassin36, thank you, sir. Uh, Vec Twice resub, thanks. He says Newsboys Nation, I appreciate that. M. Wildhaber. It's a second month sub, but first month of using my Prime subscription for you guys. Thanks, buddy. That's oh, fucking rad. You. Henry the Rat, thank you. Chronic Lungs TV, thanks, dude. <laughs> Chronic Lungs TV. Uh, yeah. And then Link It Craig donated, and he says, For Trevor, was it intentional? Your songs of olden times, Child Bride, sounds exactly the same as the John Williams Ewok wedding song. Yes. It was? Yes. Because they're, they're in the same season. That was just like a little a little Easter egg inside joke. Mm. That that's the song he came up with. Mochubla, thank you for gifting. Uh, Storm Hallowed, Sweeneyland, Toko1414. Thank you, guys. Um, somebody said, I watched I Think We're Alone Now, and it bummed me out. Oh, dude. I love I that just movie so much. Could not disagree more. I don't know why you would get bummed out watching that. I think that movie's hilarious. I'm with you. Darren, have you seen that? I think we're alone now. The the documentary about the the two stalkers who are obsessed with that pop singer Tiffany. No. Really? I can't believe that. Um, so good. It's so good. I'll check it out. Yeah, check it. Um, I'm watching Fitz Caraldo right now. 
which is not a documentary, but made me think of Werner Herzog. I love Fitzcarraldo. Yeah. What is the story behind that? Didn't like Werner Herzog shoot like half that movie with some other actor and then it wasn't going well. And then he went and got that Klaus Klingel Klaus guy. With, yeah, Klaus Kinski. I don't know if he subbed somebody with Klaus Kinski, but it's all the documentary My Best Fiend goes deep into their relationship and they have a whole long extended chapter about shooting Fitzgeraldo. And like, well, all I know is like they actually did tow the boat over the mountain and then like, the tr- some Amazonian tribe that had like come to like really respect Werner Herzog saw that he was having such a hard time with Klaus Kinski, and they were like, "Do you want us to kill him for you?" And he like had to think about it. He was like, "Hold on." <laughs> <laughs> he was wow. like, "No, not yet." <laughs> but there was a scene in that movie where Klaus Kinski was being so difficult that Werner Herzog was standing next to the camera with a rifle aiming it at him. It was like, do what I'm telling you to do or I'm going to fucking shoot you. Like, it was, it was like crazy it, shooting that movie. Did they work a lot together, though? They afterwards? did like six movies together. After or before that? Both. Weird. Wow. Yeah. So they kept working at least a little bit. After. That's why, yeah, he's, it says My Best Fiend is the name right. of the documentary. Wow. Yeah. Uh, what's the name of that film, the documentary you just mentioned? I think Sorry. we're alone now. I've heard of it, never watch it. You guys were talking about those on the thing last night? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I'm going to got... start watching it now if that's all right. Yeah, go for it, buddy. Yeah, nobody cares. Yeah. Share the audio. <laughs> Just the audio. Somebody uh, says, yeah, Darren is right. Klaus replaced Jason Robards, oh. and Michael Jagger was in the original. Burden of Dreams is amazing. I guess Burden of Dreams is about the making of Fitzgeraldo, and My Best Fiend is about their relationship. All right. Huh, crazy. Are we are we watching a sketch? Is that what? I have one. Supposedly. I have one on on deck. I have, I have stuff I can share too. If you were okay, if we're ready for that, let's do that. Cool. All right, here we go. Hang on, everybody. Host is disabled screen sharing. Oh, Who's the geez. fucking host? You are. It was Sam. I am. No, he changed his act. Screen share. Sam threw it over. Multiple right? participants can share simultaneously. No, I don't want to do that. Hang on. Oh, and then we can watch the sketch and the documentary. Advanced sharing options. Am I the guy? Why am I the guy? I don't know. Sam made you the oh, I can't change it. It's left. grayed out. Oh, no. I, it said Sam or Zach is now the host. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Someone right, said more, more Werner Herzog impressions. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> What was it? Any any impression, impression Trevor does is just Borat. Yeah. Hi. Well, it's I've, not the worst tactic. Oh, so we're gonna do Opus? We're gonna we're watch gonna it. Werner Herzog. Seven minutes. All right. I German. <laughs> here we go. Yeah. So yeah, you basically just like walk up here, and then you're like come over here, and then basically it's like here you are. Oh, Tenzig, it's magnificent. The crest of Mount Everest. Bless you for your help, young Sherpa. Oh, don't mention it. You're like super good explorer. Like most people would have just like died or gone home, but you're like crazy sexy. Well, thank you, Tenzig. Oh, I'm just going to stand here a moment and soak all of this in. Oh yeah, you should just like take a moment and just like try to soak it all in because this will like change your life forever. Hey, you want to see something like super crazy sexy cool? Well, sure I do, my fellow adventurer. Oh, don't even flatter me. You like did all the work. You're like crazy sexy American action hero. Well, I guess I was for a moment there when I had to make that jump. Oh yeah, that jump was amazing. Check this out. Wow, that's really gathering some mass there. (laughs) Whoa, oh my God, oh my God. Tenzig, that village, oh Oh my God. Tenzig, what have you done? Feels good to be on the top, right? (laughs) Tenzig, I think you've just killed a lot of people. Uh, Don't worry about it, it's like super poor fishing community. It's very unsexy. Have you done that before? Uh, only like over 9,000 times. It's so everyday and mundane. I'm so bored, I don't even want to talk about it anymore. <laughs> okay, I don't understand your, your people's culture or customs, so I'm just going to assume that all of that was just okay. Oh, it's super fine. It's like even encouraged. Huh. All right. Tenzig, I wonder if you'd do me the honor of taking a photograph of me. 
Oh my god, that'd be like my honor. Thank you so much for choosing me. Tell me, Tenzig, how many people do you think have stood where I'm standing now? Must be a pretty small club that I'm joining, huh? Oh yeah, probably only like two or three people ever. Really? Yeah, and of all of them, you're like definitely the tallest. Really? The tallest ever to climb Mount Everest? That's you. Wow. That means that right now, at this moment, my head is the highest thing that has ever been on the planet Earth. Oh my god, you're like blowing my mind. Look, Tenzig, that means now my hand is the highest point. Oh, look at you, you're like racking up the records. Look, Tenzig, even higher. <laughs> oh my god, that's so amazing and thrilling to me. You should do the thing with your penis. What? All the like super macho Americans, what they do is they like to do this thing where they lie down on the top of Mount Everest and they take out their penis and then they take out their balls and then they're like super excited because everything is under their balls. Okay, well I don't really think I need to be doing that, okay. Oh yeah, it's like super empowering because then they know that like everything in the entire planet and everything in the entire world is like underneath their penis and balls. That does sound pretty empowering. Oh, music? oh yeah, why not? Just do it. Be young, have fun, stay cool. Yes, I will stay cool. <laughs> All right. I'll just lie down on the ground like this and I'll just Take out my penis and my balls. Here, I'll like take a picture for your mantle. Yes, this would make an excellent picture for my mantle. Thank you, Tenzig. <sighs> oh yeah, that looks awesome. Now I'll just get up. I'll just get up off the ground. Tenzig, Tenzig, something is wrong. I can't get up, I'm stuck to the mountain. Of course you're stuck to the mountain. Tenzig, your voice has changed. That's because in reality, I am not. Tenzik Nordic. My name is Rex Bosworth, international diamond thief. What? That's crazy! I'd love to free you from this mountain, Freddie McNerney, but I'm afraid first you'll have to give me the world's largest diamond. Tenzik, I own a tire company in Akron, Ohio. I don't know anything about diamonds. That's not my problem, Freddie McNerney. That's your problem. Bum, bum, bum. Another problem you have is that I have this digital camera, and on this camera are pictures of you with your penis and balls out. It'd be a shame if these pictures were to find their way into my quarterly magazine, Diamond Thieves Quarterly. My parents read that magazine! Everyone reads that magazine. It's super crazy sexy. No! You have one week, Freddie McNerney, one week to bring me the world's largest diamond, or it's penis and balls and magazine time. Bum, bum, bum! Oh, hey! Hey! <laughs> oh. Blast. Alright, pause. Pause? Honey, you're- Pause? I mean, you wanna do- You wanna do chunks? chunk by chunk? It's so long. Sure. Well, only two and a half music, minutes left. Dude. Yeah, I don't know what that was. I think that's whoever uploaded it put their own music on it. What the really? fuck? <laughs> what a weird thing to do. It's terrible. Yeah. All right. I like All right. It. Here we go. You didn't add that music? No. No. All right. So Opus, chapter one. That's pretty good. What, what can you say about this sketch? It's crazy. Um, my favorite part is his name, Freddie McNerney. Why? Yeah. I don't know. It's just such a silly name. <laughs> All the names, like Tanzig Nordic? No, Tenz well, yeah, but that's because Tenzig Norgay was the name of the Sherpa that went up the first time. Yeah, that was really Sir a good Sir Edmund Oh, I just didn't get that because I'm dumb. Okay, yeah. I thought I thought we were dumb, but it's just me. All right. Uh, then, yeah, I like that sketch. I think, um, I think it's, uh, you know, I, I like how long it is. Yeah. My favorite uh, part of that first chunk is uh, they're talking about Diamond Thieves Quarterly. He's like, my parents read that magazine. He's like, everyone <laughs> reads that magazine. Yeah, yeah that's, so that's, dumb. that's my favorite. <laughs> Trevor, your character is pretty fantastic in this sketch. Yeah, I like him. Yeah. I like him. Yeah. yeah be, be young. Have fun. Be young. I, I say that a lot. That's something that I always <laughs> say. Like, go ahead. Be young. Have fun. Fun. Go I on. need that really reminded me a lot of the Tommy Wiseau guy. Yeah. Someone just said that in chat. I just saw that pop up in chat. 
Yeah. You know, it's funny. I did an episode of that show, Adam Ruins Everything, where I played Sir Edmund Hillary. Or no, I played like um, some, some guy who climbs Mount Everest. And so once again, you know, I was shooting on a soundstage wearing like full on winter shit on like a blue screen on top of Mount Everest with a Sherpa. And, and once again, I was like, dude, I've already done this and it's so uncomfortable. Like I remember when we were shooting our Wise Kids sketch, just like dripping in sweat because it's like 100 degrees on the stage. I'm wearing like full on deal and it was like terrible. And as soon as I got into the Adam Ruins Everything stuff, I was like, oh, no. Oh, and it was like another full day of the same shit. I've made a huge mistake. Yeah. <laughs> See, the, the key is to play as many sort of club kids as you can. Right. Because See, then you're... Your yeah, then you're then you're not hot under the lights. Oh, brutal. Someone just asked, and I mean the answer is no, but they, they said uh, if this is inspired by that Mr. Show ever sketch. I don't think we were even thinking about that. Not right? inspired by, but I do love that that yeah, ever sketch from Mr. Show is fantastic. That is a really funny one. That's where he's like falling around the room yeah. and knocking yeah. things down the room. That, yeah, it's a great sketch. Yeah, yeah. so good. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, to me. The real stuff to talk about this sketch comes in the other three Oh, there's segments. three more parts? Yeah, there's four parts total. Yeah, four parts, yeah. I feel like this is the setup. My favorite bit from this whole sketch is um, is uh, is uh, Zach at home. That's oh, my well, favorite. Shall we dive into it? Yeah, sure. let's, that's my favorite part. Right, let's get this. into it. All right. Let me move the chat again. I'm going to go check on the child again. <laughs> What do you guys think is going on? Uh, I think she's sneaking out. <laughs> she's free basing and he's trying to get her to stop. Yeah. Honey, you're home. How was Mount Everest? Fine. Is something wrong? No, nothing is wrong. I can tell that something is wrong. Okay, something is wrong. What is it? I need to find the biggest diamond in the world. Oh, Freddy, why? Because I pulled my dick out on Mount Everest and a diamond thief took pictures of it. Oh my God, I knew something like this would happen. I'm sorry, it's just me and my stupid pride. Well, why didn't you take the camera away from him? Because he jetpacked away. Well, what am I supposed to say? Things like this always happen. No. Candace, I can change. We were doing so good, I'll change. Then fucking change, Freddy. You're 43 years old. Mommy, Daddy, why are you yelling? Timmy, my son. Don't fight. Tell him, Freddy. Tell him why we can't have Christmas this year. What? No Christmas? No. Tell him, Freddy. No. We can't have Christmas this year because Daddy pulled his dick out on Mount Everest and a diamond thief took pictures of it. What? No, Daddy, you're doing so well. Are you and Mom going to split up again? I don't know. Probably. You are. I hurt you. I hate you, Mom. I hate you. You're a fucking cunt. No, Timmy. Go to your room. Don't leave me and Mom. I love you. <laughs> Suck my dick, Timmy. Well, where are you supposed to find the largest diamond in the world? I don't know. Let me check. Oh, great. It's in a volcano. A volcano? A fucking volcano, Freddy? Oh! Mommy, no, don't do that. Why'd you pull your dick out on Mount Everest? Because I'm a man and I was weak. Everything They're my doing mother it again told with the me about you was true. Don't you say that. Don't you ever say that. Well, don't you see that everything in the world is telling us that we shouldn't be together? You're right. We're so broken. We are broken. We're so broken. We're, we're so broken. broken. We're so broken. Oh, we're, we're broken. broken. <laughs> Kill us, God. Kill us. Kill us. Is that the end of that video, though? Do we have to find the other parts? I've got the other video now. Someone asked uh, why you didn't pull it off the hard drive. Uh, Because I'm lazy. Oh, right. It's upstairs. Kill Ooh. us, God. You fucker. <laughs> you fucker. The funny thing about that is as soon as, like, Darren came on, I was watching the chat, and all of them were like, holy shit, Darren's hot. Oh, fuck, Darren. <laughs> like, the whole chat just went to be like, damn. Like, uh, <laughs> got thirsty, too. You got it. We have a sexed up chat in here tonight. That's what I was talking about. That that was my favorite girl to play with the the dark hair, not the blondes. I yeah. like the dark hair. 
You like uh, you like long dark hair, Darren? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like, All right. Me. Oh hell yeah. <laughs> I like I like that. Uh, my I think one of my favorite parts about that is uh, Zach typing on the computer. Yes. <laughs> like, yeah. where's the biggest diamond? And it's like it's in a volcano. Yeah. He's like, oh great. Well, because when we did that on stage, it was the same way. It was maybe even less time where Zach's like, where's the biggest vol- Where's the biggest diamond? I don't know. Let me check. Oh my god, a volcano! Just like <laughs> instantaneous. And we're all like, no. I also like the I, like the uh, the computer like it, where the the largest diamond is definitively known. Where you know yeah. we know exactly right. where it is. Yeah. We know where it is. <laughs> oh man! I love uh, Timmy, my son. <laughs> I think it's funny because it's like that actually carried over from the live sketch because Timmy would just walk up and Zach oh. has to. Make I have to say that. you're my son because there's you're no right. wardrobe or anything. My costumes, yeah. Right. Although it's, you could make the argument that that's still just as necessary on television. He's only wearing a hat and a stupid shirt. That doesn't necessarily mean he's a child. We're all basically the same age. Yeah. Right. I was going to say, like, I'm just wearing, like, the little kid hat. Yeah. Whenever Timmy plays a kid, we put a cute little hat on him, and then it's just understood. I'm just glad that the, the we did uh, – there was that other sketch where I played the little kid by actually standing on my knees on shoes for uh, that elephant balls oh, one. Oh, yeah. You, do- you dorfed it. <laughs> yeah, and that was like that was that sucked. It's like sit, standing on your knees uh, like for hours. I was like, hey, yeah. I hope this isn't how we always do this. <laughs> In the was, industry, that's that's what the that's what everyone calls a, a dwarfinet. Dwarfinet, yeah. Conway's classic yeah. Uh, mail order video series. Dwarf on golf. <laughs> is, yeah, is dwarf a thing that everyone in America at that no. uh, like in the early '90s was aware of? Darren, did no. you know about it? No. You get, do I, go ahead, Trevor. It's only for people with like uh, old parents, basically. Like, but like it would be commercials. I would see the commercials on TV. It'd be like Dorf goes to the movies, and the yeah. whole bit about Dorf. It was like before Larry the Cable Guy it was some white trash comedian whose whole shtick was that he would like <laughs> kneel on his shoes, so his shoes would be on his knees, and he'd pretend to be a little person, and that was hilarious, right. apparently. But- one note, he was not some redneck comedian. It was, it was Tim, Tim Conway. Conway. He was like an elder statesman of sketch comedy. Oh, he was like, oh, yeah, he was like the Carol Burnett show. Yeah. He's huge. But then he did this character called yeah. Dorf that took off. So then he just made these direct-to-video things where he yeah. just walked around on his knees. Order videos. I remember I would see those and then one that was like the best of Jonathan Winters. And I was like, I'm, I shouldn't know who these guys are. <laughs> yeah, like every couple months they'd be another one like Dorf goes sailing and then all these dads would be like, I gotta see what Dorf's gonna get into on a boat. I like, feel like my dad would love Dorf. He would have been well, all totally. over. It was so, it was in that, yeah. It, you know why I saw it? I just realized it's because we always had Naked Night on when I was a kid. So we had all the older TV show stuff for mm-hmm, older people, yeah. even though, you know. But uh, anyways, uh, yeah. Uh, th- this gets that scene. I love the energy and i just remember when we were shooting it it just felt so hectic to me when we were making it because we're just all fucking screaming and immediately freaking out on each other you know yeah it's fun it's just awful <laughs> i mean good, you know, the family's Sh- off shall we uh, uh plug along and uh go through chapter three yeah, yeah i this- hope whoever thought they would improve our shit with putting terrible music over it decides to stop that's ridiculous <laughs> i mean i thought it brought our level seven sketch to a nine wow in my opinion. I like I that they they liked the sketch enough to upload it uh, to their channel, but they were like, but they did fuck up. Yeah, they forgot to put music. Yeah, over the talking. Um, all right, let's uh, let me find it, and then we should just watch some dwarf videos. Yeah, I'm down. Well, if that's what I was going to ask for. I want to see that. I think we should. Dwarf. All right, here's chapter three. <laughs> <laughs> this volcano is fucking hot. I wish I had some sort of Sherpa or someone to assist me right now. Because it is hot, 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 hot. I bet if I pulled out my penis right now, it would be the hottest penis in the world. No! No! Keep it in your pants, Freddy. You've got a family to think about now. Yes. Ah, here we go. Ah. Ah. All right. Now, I've just got to find that diamond. Where? There it is. Okay. I'll just walk on over, pick it up with my hands, get those dick pictures back. Excuse me? Oh. Just what in the world do you think you're doing? Are you the devil? Uh, yes, I'm the devil. Why do you think I'm all red? Huh. 
So the devil lives in a volcano, huh? Uh, yes, the devil lives in a volcano. Late pass. Well, what do you think the devil is in some sort of condo down in Florida? No? Yeah, huh? See, see, the thing about people like you is that you think that the devil lives in some sort of houseboat just drinking daiquiris and listening to Jimmy Buffett. No, I don't. People like you think that the devil lives in some sort of abandoned railroad car just traveling from state to state, eating sardines out of a can and telling stories to strangers and petting his scraggly little dog that he has. Would you please stop that? See, People like you think that the devil lives in some sort of magical hot air balloon kingdom where he just zooms around on a Segway scooter and watches soap operas and does Sudoku. Would you stop, please? People like you think that the devil lives in a rundown laundry detergent factory where he just eats candy canes out of a box that he has and he writes short stories and twirls his hair. You see, people like you think that the devil is some sort of stowaway on Paul Simon's tour bus just traveling across America and eating teddy grams and when people fall asleep spitting them in their ears. Would you please stop? People like this is hell. you oh. think that the devil I get is it on now. some this is jewel encrusted surfboard just floating in the middle of a wave pool reading romance <laughs> novels and thinking about boys. People like you think that the devil lives on a Hollywood movie studio set that's made to look like a World War II fighter jet. And he just lounges around all day getting baked and calling his friends and hanging up on them. People like you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. That's good stuff. I, uh, I don't know. I just remember uh, we had a lot of fun writing all those sentences. Oh, man. Honestly, I feel like we could have done an episode that was just people like you for 28 <laughs> minutes, and I would have been totally happy with it, man. Right. That was the writing session. It went on forever. We're yeah. like, okay, guys, 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 we got to turn this down. It's like, okay, just nine more. Just nine more. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I also think like I, that was like a character that you I kind of got stuck in for a while because I would just still I still think of those and like talk about those for like a long time afterwards. Yeah, like, yeah. it's yeah. just fun to keep doing that. Yeah, kind of I, I caught a thing that we've done in a few sketches, and either you or I feel like it's a Trevor or a Darren line. Uh, yeah, huh? Or maybe Zach said it in a sketch too. We've said that a bunch. Yeah, yeah huh? huh? Yeah, huh? If, yeah, oh, huh? somebody says nah, uh you say yeah, huh? Yeah, huh? Yeah, huh? Yeah, huh. <laughs> that was like just from being a kid. Really? I mean, I guess I kind of remember that, but I don't know. Oh, you know what's uh, funny? Mike like, Reese, who's one of the original Simpsons writers, yeah, um, he talked about us because in the Simpsons, I guess he says, "What is the phrase?" If Sam was here, he would know it. There's a phrase that we said um, that I guess just we soaked into our heads from watching the Simpsons, and he was like, "When I saw them do that, I was like, that's for me. I wrote that. That like I'm the only one. Fuck, this is gonna drive me nuts." What the fuck hmm. was it? Was he, he upset? Was, yeah, was he happy about it? Was he upset? Yeah, he, no, he was stoked. He thought it was awesome. Uh, um, oh, fuck it. Never mind. I can't remember. If Sam was um, here, he would know. I'm going to call uh, Sam and ask him. The Sam's one time insane. we need Sam here. I can't believe I'm calling <laughs> Sam on Sam's day off. The, um, uh, uh, keep going. So keep going. Well... I want to hear what Sam says. All right. Right. I know what it was. Hachimachi. We say Hachimachi in a sketch. And that's guess, a Simpsons thing? That's a, that's a Mike Reese from The Simpsons. I could have wow. sworn that was yeah. from like old shows no. like Honeymoon. Hachimachi. Yeah. yeah. Wow. It was worth the wait, wasn't it? That's great. Yes. Yeah. Totally. Um, I remember well, the thing I remember about that that is um, like uh, like the, the graphic guy we were so we were talking graphic guy and I was like yeah and I have like it's a volcano and then uh, a pterodactyl goes by and it goes like square like that he's like a, a, a pterodactyl he's like yeah because it's a volcano <laughs> yeah <laughs> and he's like all right he's like yeah <laughs> idiot all of our geology knowledge is based on our toys we were. <laughs> So wait, let's talk about the live version of this. So for some reason, I don't think we did people like you live. I think when we originally did the sketch, it was like the devil lives in the volcano. And then in the middle of like 
talking to the devil, suddenly you hear this like, hey, devil! And then it would be Sam in the back of the audience Playing with Buddha. like bucket strapped to his feet and his shirt off. Yeah. Like, yeah. Is that right? Like the five-gallon Home Depot bucket. Yeah, like as bucket stilts. So you'd be like clomping through the audience and be like, I've come to kick your ass. And then you'd be like, Buddha! And then like you guys would fight in the audience, right? Yeah, basically on stilts. Like basically on bucket stilts. Because I, I would come out as the devil, but I was on stilts. But I was on stage, and then we're Sam, on stilts for that. Yeah, because Sam and I would be on stilts when we'd be fighting. Stilts? Right. Or did you get well, on buckets? Stilts? Buckets. buckets. A gallon yeah. bucket. Yeah. But you were on stilts, dude. You would your head would be on the ceiling. Maybe I put them on when he came out. I but think, I, remember, I was just gonna say I think that's what you did. Yeah. Could, then you put those on when he shut up. What a weird. What, yeah. It's a weird sketch. That there was always a. We had a handful of sketches live that would just be like, and now at this part, Trevor and Sam are gonna fight, and let's see if they get hurt. And it would just basically be like the rest of us <laughs> leaning against the wall, just be like, I bet one of them gets hurt, probably. <laughs> we, we usually someone would get hurt. Yeah. Because it was yeah. like that's how it, that, Bigfoot that's versus Grave Digger. Like you yeah. know what I mean? Some somebody go down. Oh, yeah. Line leader. Somebody's gonna get fucked up. This one. Yeah. Uh, the the Timmy tries out for Wolverine sketch. I would throw those little statues around and like they would explode in audience members' faces sometimes. Oh my was, god, I forgot about that sketch. Wait, what that was, was that? Interesting. Where I uh, auditioned to repl- well, first of all, it starts with like I think the three of you and maybe Sam uh, as a. Uh, like Hollywood execs or whatever. And you talk about how Hugh Jackman had to quit being Wolverine because he got caught doing some pedophilia thing. <laughs> Just slander. And then I come in to audition and I'm like, I think I'm reading for the part of a Wolverine. So I just like run around <laughs> acting crazy. <laughs> so right. fucking dumb. It's one of those reading you guys wrote. for a Wolverine. I remember right. that. And then you just go like those you guys, uh, you wrote, It was one that you wrote without me where it's just like, let's just write Timmy the way we think of him. And it's like, <laughs> I come in talking about like radish gardens and how the Wolverine yeah. into my radishes. It's these little rascals in my radish gardens yeah. all the time. Oh uh, yeah. Uh, and, yeah, but that was uh, that one was the Opus is another one. Yeah, with uh, danger. We also had uh, dinner vote, which where you would really like like punch the shit out of Sam. I would slap day. him. Yeah, I would hit yeah. him. Yeah, pretty hard. Yeah. 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 <laughs> An astronaut sketch we did live once, and Trevor's table uh, that you laid on so that it looked like you were sitting above us fell onto Darren's arm. Broke right it. Darren? Yeah. 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 I think we did a video recently that we uploaded to the YouTube where we talk about all of our injuries. Oh, do we? Uh, yeah. yeah. Um, Should we go to the fourth chapter here? Yeah, let's do it. I don't even remember what this is. Or should we stop? We only do three. <laughs> no, 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 no. Let's do it. Leave it uh, hanging. All right, chapter four, the sketch that won't end. This is a sketch that... <laughs> and has no business being as long as it is. I like it. We take the sketch that's really not about anything, and we're like, that should be 15 minutes long. Yeah. And we'll call it Opus. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Holland's Vitus Kids Super Open. modest. Oh, yeah. That's awesome. You look like a really cool guy. Yeah, you know, I, I feel really cool right now. <laughs> Rex Bosworth. Hey, that guy's higher than my dick. I've brought you your diamond, you son of a bitch. Hey, buddy, get down on the ground. This is my time. You've got the diamond? Danzig, your voice changed. It took me to the depths of hell and it nearly tore my family apart, but I've brought it. Excellent. Tremendous work, Freddie McNerney. You see, all the devil's powers were contained in this diamond. And now that we have stolen it, all evil will slowly drain from the earth. Whoa, that's like a really big deal. It's the biggest deal. You're a good guy. I'm the greatest guy. <laughs> Rex Bosworth, champion of man. Guys, what's going on? Can you get under my dick, please? Fitting, isn't it? That the devil would finally meet his due here at the summit of Everest? That is fitting. Look, to the horizon, Freddy. Eagles approach. Holy shit, they took the diamond. <laughs> oh. This is fucking crazy. <laughs> I got to say, we stuck the landing. For, for a long sketch, that's a pretty decent what? ending. I'm happy with it. I, I forgot that it ended like that. And yes, going back to the live version, we did that live too, I think. Just Trevor ends it just like singing opera. <laughs> Ralph, Ralph Wiggum, 16, just wrote, why does this happen? 
<laughs> that is the most Ralph Wiggum sentence you could ever have. Why does this happen? <laughs> Super Nintendo hurt. Chalmers? I watched oh. a sketch and then my brain hurt. Uh, yeah, that's, uh, uh, but that's a great question because we don't know. How did we get the eagle? How did we do the fucking eagle? Well, it was like a kite, wasn't it? It wasn't. Was it it, really? Yeah, it was like a. It was like a fake eagle on a string that we just whipped around, and then it was on green screen, and then we put it in over afterwards. Oh, okay. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> somebody, somebody in the chat was like, "How did you guys get a diamond that big? <laughs> How did we?" Uh, that was um, our whole I budget. Hobby Lobby. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I remember some budget from the previous season and put it all in the fake diamond budget. Um, I remember we were talking about, uh, well, let's, let's get this on Broadway, this Opus sketch. (laughs) We'll we'll make it one show and we'll take like the million dollars that they give you to put on a production and we'll just put it all into the Eagle, like a (laughs) beautiful animatronic Eagle Mm -hmm. that comes in. But the rest of the entire sketch is just us in a black box theater. Yeah. That'd be great. We should expand that story to like uh, like a, a, a full play and then just uh, figure out how to do it off Broadway like one night and just have it be like a, a disaster. It'd be a disaster. Yeah. yeah. Well, you got to do you got to do Bucket Stilts Buddha. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you got to do that. And, uh, really, we should all end up on Bucket Stilts at some point. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> do you guys uh, want to uh, keep watching stuff or should we take a fan art break I've let's got, do a fan art break I like that and then you know what else we should do is uh, I think we should do like a frequently asked questions about the Mars movie yeah okay. cool. then I was thinking we should play heads up seven up okay, okay love it love it cool. um, fan art first do it Timmy you got it Cool. So, uh, and again, I'm not always up on what might have already been shown on another uh, program. We uh, haven't shown any on Newsboys. Okay. So this is a lot. A lot of this is from Reddit, and there's some that were was in the Discord. Uh, so we'll start with this. This is this would be uh, Venom Fang from this week's uh, Buggerson and Myers. Okay. I oh. have to say, I love this so much. But really, the other one that this same person did, where it's um. Where it's uh, Greg Myers tied to a chair with his thumb cut off. Yeah. If whoever made this is in this chat, will you please whisper me? Because I would love to frame and have the Greg Myers one. Wow. If I need to pay you for it or whatever it is, it would. I love that it says nothing about whitest kids. It's just this weird image of like an orc tied to a chair bleeding. Yeah. Uh, please, I want it. Let's let's talk. <laughs> Message me on Discord. Um. I love that this uh, incorporates that you guys are confused. Uh, you thought it was a spider for a while. And then I, I guess that are those my pigtails that it also has? Is that? Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, I always cool. like it when people kind of uh, put little weird details in. And then here's yeah. a Newsboys sketch. Did we look at that <laughs> last time? Yeah, I think we did. We might have looked at that. I got a New Yorker cartoon. That's pretty funny. It does. It's cool. Uh, here, someone made a, a, a design for a foot uh, picture. This is John, John Bong Jovi 420. Oh, and I didn't get to the name of the other person. Hold on. The person that did the, uh, uh, that was Gator Cat that did the uh, Venom thing, just so we know about that. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, there's John Bong uh, Jovi 420. Now, somebody just turned a He-Man figure into a Boba Wilcox I love toy. it. That's it looks like that. Yeah. yeah does it? I don't know what the head is, but or maybe they modeled it a little bit. I didn't read the post because I can't read, but uh, this is from Octafuzz on Reddit. So the I, arms I are dead on Sam. Yeah, I mean, he looks like that. His thighs. You guys remember how we're always talking about his ripply ass thighs? I mean, yeah. The only thing missing is his long, long scrotum. (laughs) Well, it's a children's toy. It's a human. I'm just saying. (laughs) Oh, oh. So this is a. This is okay. I want to talk about some stuff. So, sidecar driver, who's a Twitch person, he's a friend of mine here in town, and he might be on tonight. I don't know. He's been 3D printing stuff. So this is a whitest kids nightlight he made, and then he also made. this so this if you can't tell this is a timmy williams nightlight well he took uh, a picture of me just like a headshot i used to use a couple years ago and 3d printed it now it looks kind of weird now but when you turn it on let me see if we can get it oh shit let me turn off the lights hold on it's so it's really fucking cool though i actually think turning off the lights is going to increase the problem wait yeah shit well anyways it's really cool here just hold it back away from the camera a bit i got a better i got a I have a picture of it on. That makes it worse. What if I hold it up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There oh, we yeah. go. Yeah, cool. Oh. cool. Yeah. 
So, uh, dinosaurs? dinosaurs in there? Uh, no, that's uh, just me in my backyard with flamingos. I have, p I have pink flamingos. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, so just me. That was like a shower. Humble music. brag. <laughs> yeah, weird flex, Timmy. Yeah. <laughs> that was, uh, but yeah, that's that was like my promo headshot of you, or like, you know, for flyers and shit for a while. But anyways, he's making a fucking whitest kids night lights. So. That's awesome. That's cool. We should sue the shit out of him. Huh? Yeah, we should sue no, the shit No, I mean, no, he him. actually was like, you guys should sell those. I'm like, <laughs> I'm that'd joking. be cool to make those, you know? But anyways, awesome. uh, I don't know if I have, oh, and then there was a little bit more art I wanted to share. Hold on. So, um, yeah, let me close that out. And okay, so just just so that we're all on the same page about this. Uh, there we go. There's Dorf. I found a really oh great. Oh my picture. god! <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. Why that's... was Dorf like Hitler? I don't know, but that's part of it. Like, look at all these Dorf. There's like I I got a couple. Oh, there's what if he was Zeke Heiling? Oh yeah. no, that is hilarious though. <laughs> <laughs> I, that must be some famous golfer, Sam Snead. I'm gonna say it's Sam. Snead. How did how did really they do that? that? <laughs> all I know is it sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Guys named Tim always get roped into fucking kneeling for hours. <laughs> wow, you can take that the wrong way. Whatever. Uh, and then there's, yeah, this is one of the video covers. And that tall guy that was in a bunch of stuff, what was his name? He's in the, you can't really see it too well. but Daniel Stern. No, not Daniel Stern. He, he's the guy who played like the creepy organ grinder in Batman Returns. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That guy's great. The dude on the train and Ghost, you know? The, he's yeah. that eerie-ass ghost yeah, yeah, guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh? Yeah, he looks like Stephen Wright or something like that. Kind yeah, of. he kind of looks like a monster version of Stephen Wright. Uh, well, he's Ricky like a June, thanks Michael for Michael Berryman and Holy shit, dude. Stephen Wright. Wow, thank you. Thank you, wow. Um, so I got a, you want to watch a dwarf video? Yeah. More than anything. So I just found, I found on YouTube, it says, it was like dwarf on golf, and this goes sketch comedy gold. That's what, it, that's what this is labeled. So. <laughs> Someone with their thumb on the pulse. So here it is. Just that's brutal. Not doing well. I was really enjoying that. <laughs> I feel like we should watch the Tim Conway uh, Novocaine Dennis sketch just to like kind of, you know. Yeah, I think old people just laughed at anything. I mean, we've talked about this before, but it's like if you ever go watch like, I mean, it was like, oh, Saturday Night Live was so incredible. And then you go watch like the first season of it. You're like, what? Okay. Yeah, dude. I bet the soldiers in World War II just told each other like the lamest jokes. <laughs> oh, ever, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, um, all right, I'm gonna run an ad and then thank some people because I think that's how we should do it. So hang on, ad break and the then bathroom. real Thanks. quick. Uh, yo, MLM Pupper, Mlem Pupper says donated says this sketch that Trevor quoted for me. In, this is the sketch Trevor quoted for me in Philly. People like you, thank you so much, Trevor. I still watch it to this day. Love you guys. Thank you. Uh, Solo fifteen fifty one donated says. You should watch and review the baby killer bullet sketch. Also, my three-year-old sings Hippo in the City. Cheers, boys. Oh, that's pretty cool. Uh, future Sam is by donated and says, don't take flight 69420 from Cincinnati to Chicago in 2026. Don't worry. None of us will ever be in Cincinnati. So he's, he's, threatening, he's threatening a specific airline in five years from now. <laughs> yeah, that could be taken. That could be taken badly. Um uh, Demi Femme sub, thank you so much. Monochromian Minion, thank you for the Prime sub. The Dog Child, thank you. Fart Christ, thanks for gifting. Reek Hadol, Lil Pepperonio. <laughs> Lil Pepperonio is really funny. Thanks, dude. <laughs> and uh, Wasassin Mochublo, thank you, dudes. Do you think you could be a successful rapper with the name Lil Pepperonio? I think you're yeah. on your way. Yeah. I think it could happen. Professional Marth Live just donated and says, Please don't sue me, but my friends and I did Happier With Your Mouth Open and Drunk Dad on stage for my high school, and it was really fun. So thanks for that, boys. Too late. You're going to get sued. I kind of want to sue you. I've uh, I've watched a couple of those. Like, uh, yeah, I have high school versions of Happier With Your Mouth Open, and they're, they're so much fun to watch. It's the best. It is the best. Well, what is what? When, like, people do Happier With Your Mouth Open at high school... Like high oh, school yeah. or something. Talent us, show. Didn't someone do? Uh, did someone do Line Leader and send us that one? Right. I don't I know. So. There've been a I'm few. Gonna, I'm gonna go get a Lacroix. Does anybody want anything? I'll Dude, take I a spindrift. 
I really want one. Okay. What is Spindrift? I almost bought that instead of LaCroix. Is it the same thing? It, no, it's like, um, it's soda water, but it's with real juice in it. Like a lot of juice. So it's, oh, it's okay. like, it like tastes good. It's very flavorful. It's good. It's supposed to be better. I love it. Um, yeah, some kids in high school do the grapist and then they get in big trouble. Really? <laughs> Well, haven't there been stories of kids show it, like showing Lincoln or something in history class or seeing it in history class? Mm -hmm. A period war sketch or what is Which, that? The Revolutionary oh, War. The light sketch. War. The light War. Chipotle yeah. Sizzle, thanks for gifting. Fuck yeah. Appreciate you. No scope to JFK just donated and says, any chance we can get that plate of Obama railing the Statue of Liberty with the Twin Towers collapsing in the background on the merch site? I think it would make a great Christmas gift. I don't think you're going to be seeing that plate anytime soon for, for purchase. <laughs> but they are right. That would make a great Christmas gift. Sitting in our fucking cabinet somewhere. I've got mine. I, I, I think I told you guys this a, a little while back, but like every like few months when I'm like rearranging my closet or something, I'll find it just be like, oh my God. Yeah, dude. Just forget about it. Then you come across it. You're like, what did we do? <laughs> <laughs> we need to sh we need to air that sketch. Well, I, I don't know if that's on the hard drive or not. Is it? It exists as a sketch though. We filmed it, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We edited it. It's it's done. It's actually just shot like a plate commercial with no one even in it, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Someone says I did four whitest kid sketches in front of my church youth group. <laughs> Which ones? Jesus. I don't know. Did you, yeah, was it the Church of Satan? Satan? Yeah. Are you still a member of that church? <laughs> Trevor, yes, do you know if we have the Obama plate sketch? I don't think we do. Oh, we don't have it at all? I don't think we ever shot. Did we shoot it? Yeah, I think we did. Hmm. Well, we made the plate and then, uh, yeah, I don't know. I thought we shot it. I thought, I, I feel like I remember editing it with like all the graphics from the home shopping network and everything on the screen. Huh. I'm pretty sure we did, man. Huh. I feel like I've seen it, but I could be totally wrong. I don't know. What about the sketches that never aired, the other ones? I have you those. You yeah. do? I got limeade. Well, I'm going to grab a, a spin drift myself. I'll be right back. I'm going to get a LaCroix because I'm poor. I went to the uh, grocery store and got limeade today. Nice. Do you drink a lot of limeade? Uh, no. Mm -hmm. But I, but I'm going to drink a lot of it tonight. Do you mix it with seltzer or do you just have it by itself? Your limeade. Mm. So what do you do on Saturday nights? Oh, I watch the whitest kids like uh, just kind of look older and talk about different non-alcoholic carbonated beverages. Dude, I saw two homeless guys getting a fight at the grocery store today. Yikes. Yeah. What, was, what were they fighting over? Uh, one. So one guy had his cart. And then the other homeless guy, like uh, he went over and was like fucking around with the cart while the guy was inside. And then he came out and he's like, that's my cart. And he like beat the shit out of him like so the guy's face was like bloody mess like and everyone's just watching these two homeless guys like beat the shit out of each other in the in the front of the grocery store and so then like the guy that his face was all like bloody like he gets up and he runs into the grocery store to get away from the other guy so the other guy chases him in so now they're running through the grocery store oh, like and they're knocking things over and everything like that and um did they have their mask on no no so <laughs> Was anyone playing the uh, theme from the Benny Hill show while that happened? No, but that's why you should go to the Gelsons. <laughs> but were, did they did they put masks on when they went in the store? No, no. Oh, Disrespectful. Mm. Oh, that's crazy, man. What are you drinking, Zach? Spin what, uh, Out what, of a moonshine it, jar. What, what flavor? Oh, um, grapefruit. Mm. Darren, it's where's so your drink, good. bro? This is Drink uh, Boys right now. Drink Boys. Go get... What do you got, Darren? What are you rocking, bud? I'll go get something, all right? Cool. Now, wait. Zach's got a jar. Trevor, are you drinking out of a jar? A glass. I got to get a jar. This is You got to get a good mason jar, man. I, got I think I can get a better jar. Everyone just leaves. So are you getting paid for these product placements? Well, I didn't say the name brand of my limeade. Dude, if I could get a fucking sponsorship from Spindrift, I would be so goddamn excited. Hey, yeah. Zach, did you draw the thing on your wall? I did not draw that. I did draw that. Oh, cool. 
All right, guys. My mason jar, and I have regular mason jars, but I have a mason jar cup. All right. Got a handle. Of course I have lots of mason jars. I am the fucking character you think I am. I have lots of pickling equipment. <laughs> let's bring let's bring someone else in that's drinking uh, something as well. Yeah, dude. Find out in the chat. Who's got a... I don't know how to bring out. anyone... I, I would be totally down to bring someone else into the Zoom. If we were on Discord, we could do it easily. Uh, you can't do it on this. Okay. We'll go back to dads on the internet. <laughs> mm. I wasn't quite up there, but it's, it's kind of like that. Um, yeah, yeah we, should, we should play Fall Guys or something. Should I put this nightlight in my daughter's room like when she's asleep and then she'll just wake up and just see a fucking glowing, frowning picture of her father just lurking in the room? Maybe. Do you ever go into her room when she sleeps? Yeah, well, I mean, yeah, but just to, like make sure everything's fine. Like before I go to bed, I'll just pop my head in to make sure, you know, there's no nothing on fire and that she's breathing, you know, kind of thing. Hmm. But no, I don't like going and watch her sleep. <laughs> I think I think you you kind of do that when they're babies, right? Maybe just yeah, you go when they're babies, sure. but I feel like once they're five. No, but you still check on them, like you know, before I go to bed or something. That's bad sure, parenting. Hey. Okay, well, I'll definitely take your word for it. <laughs> <laughs> I remember I was uh, I got wasted in New York City, and I like met this dude. He was he was he was he was cool, but like I met him that night, we got wasted. And, and oh. like, we were way out in, like, deep Brooklyn in a neighborhood I'd never been. It was, like, bars were shut down. It was 4 in the morning. And he was like, he was like dude, you could just crash in my house. I have, I have two beds. Like, you could have your own bed. And I was like, okay. So I go back to this guy's apartment. He grew up in New York. And he takes me. He's like, no, just be real quiet. Because my parents and my brother and sister are inside. And I was like, what, dude? I don't, what? Ah. So we're like creeping into like his living room and then we go into his bedroom. He's got bunk beds. And I'm like, what the fuck? And he's like, get on the top bunk, quiet. He's like, now, early, early in the morning, my parents are going to come and they're going to peek up and look at you because they're just going to want to see who's here. And I was like, what? And he's like, just, it's fine. I was like, I don't want this to happen, man. Like when I was like so wasted, I was like, I don't want anyone... No, and I like went to sleep in like mortal terror that like I was gonna be oh woken God. up by like strange old heads like <laughs> this close to me. And sure enough, at like seven in the morning, like this old Indian man was like, "Hello," I was like, "Ah, oh, I'm Zach," and it was like the weirdest fucking eight hours of my New York experience. He just had like he had a fork and a knife, and he was just <laughs> looking. <laughs> 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 You have nice fat legs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he got a good one today. Well, and just to be clear, when I check out my kid, I'm not doing that. I just kind of open the door and like, you know. But what are you like, looking for? Just making sure they're asleep. She's sleeping fine. Like, what if she's up or, yeah, sometimes I do it and she's like, you know. She's up? Right, up and having issues. Yeah, it happens, you know. She's like on her iPad or something like that. Well, no, but nowadays if she wakes up first, she just is out in the living room like chilling out. Well, but I'm no, just, just curious, like, what are the issues that could be happening? I don't know, I just make sure everything's fine before I go to bed. I mean, maybe it's a fucking thing. Maybe it's a weird thing. I don't know, but I just do it. Uh, Darren, yeah. do you do that? Do you poke your head in? No. I'll, I'll poke my head in just to make sure that my kid hasn't, like, left. Well, yeah, I mean, that too. I mean, <laughs> like, if I was hurt, I knew where the door was. <laughs> <laughs> No, I just, I don't know. It's just a general making things are cool thing. You know what? Also, she sleeps on a loft bed, so she's, like, way high up off the ground. Mm. Even though she's been in that for years, I still have this, like, fucking mortal fear that I'll go in there and she'll just be, like, somehow have fallen out, mm. you know? So maybe that's that. But it's, like, almost impossible to fall out of that thing. So I have a video monitor in the room that I can talk to him through. So. Do you really? Yeah. Do you have a like, monitor? Yeah, because he'll get up and he'll start, like, He'll just start. He likes to take everything from his room and put it in his bed and sleep under everything. Like mm. so, he he piles all of his toys and it's like a mountain that goes like five feet above his bed That's that he awesome. does. And so then he'll add to it in the middle of the night. He'll get up and keep putting things. And so I'll be like, "Hey, stop it! Stop it! Go to bed!" You know. <laughs> but why? 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 Why stop him? Because I don't want him to be crazy in the morning. I want him to get sleep. Like oh. you know, if he plays all night. Like, right, then, then he'll be, he'll be like, cranky. Oh, yeah. I, I can't tell if I'd be the worst parent in the world because I feel like if I saw my kid doing that, I'd be like, eh, he wants to put toys on himself. I don't know. What? Fuck it. 
You know, it's a fine line yeah. to walk. And I was really having a conversation about that today with my daughter, just being like, you know, I'm going to like, like, like kind of let, you know, I, I said, you get a lot of freedom from me, but just make sure you like, like tell me what you're doing sometimes, you know? <laughs> well, it's funny in Newsboys yesterday, Trevor was telling me a master stroke that his parents did when he was a teenager. We're like, mm-hmm. that, that I'm going to remember that if I ever have a kid. Where yeah, they're like, it. you can run around, you don't have a curfew, you can do whatever you want. Like, you have total freedom. You don't even have to sleep here. But if you ever get caught, then you're going to be a normal kid and we're going to, like, enforce the shit out of everything. And so he's huh. just like, yeah. He's like, all right, a, a gentleman's challenge. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, I good. think that, I mean, and I don't want to get serious or anything, but I think the trust thing is going to go a lot further towards helping them become good people than just fucking constant threats of punishment, you know? So, yeah, I was under constant threat of punishment. Well, and I was turned into a fucking asshole. My parents kind of split the split that, you know, kind of sometimes that sometimes like just trust in the, you know, I feel just feel like with my kid, it's like, I don't even like punish her, you know? What are you (laughs) going to tell your daughter about pot? Well, uh, you know, uh, that's <laughs> going to be a much more complicated discussion than it is for a lot of parents, uh, but I won't get into that. Uh, you guys know what I mean. Anyways, uh, oh, yeah. well, so I, t- I told her already uh, that, you know, that we because we've legalized it here, so and it's going to happen soon, you know. Is summer. that a January 1st thing? July 1st. Uh, July 1st. And she already smelled just it. in time for fourth of july right. okay. dude here's the thing is so there's a small town near me that i've talked to you guys about before because i love it there's a small town called kranzberg and i let i always even when i lived in new york i would love coming back to south dakota koreansburg to oh Kranzberg. So we got a hype train going guys what do we do when this hype train max is out sorry to interrupt dude, you timmy dude, got us there. if we go all the way to five i'll drink another limeade oh no no what did i do i dude, did something don't. really uh uh, uneventful for my hype train at the cooking show. What did I do? Oh, I, uh, <laughs> I'm like, all right, if we hit the hype train, I'll go figure out how to get the, uh, uh, hardwired internet into my laptop. So it stops uh, glitching. <laughs> that would be so sick. I know it was cool. Anyways, the, the, the Kranzberg is a crazy party. And my brothers and I were talking the other day, like, dude, the, cause it's always crazy. It's like, you start drinking at like 10 in the morning and there's like, the last time I went, I'm walking my daughter around. It's like 10 or 11 in the morning. And she's like, why, are the, why is that man's legs sticking out of the back of his truck? And it was like people doing keg stands like before breakfast. Yeah. <laughs> so anyways, my brother's like, dude, this year the Kranzberg Parade is going to be three days after they legalize pot. <laughs> so <laughs> it's uh, maybe it'll be more chill. I don't know. But when I talk to her about it, I mean, I guess at that point it'll be similar to fucking drinking and stuff, which I've explained mm-hmm. is like, you know, sometimes adults drink this and, you know, just, uh, they like to, and it can be fun, but you don't want to drink it too much. You know, it's like, so I guess drugs will be the same way. Yeah. But yeah, everything will be legal by the time these kids uh, get to be like, I mean, yeah. we're, uh, it's looking like in California, we'll have uh, mushrooms and LSD legal probably in the next oh, yeah. year. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. Cool. And that's, I mean, that's really a trend now too. That guy, uh, the Lieutenant Governor of Pennsylvania uh, is a badass who I just found out about this week. And uh, he's been talking about that for, for PA for years. He's like a giant, he's like a massive dude with like a goatee and he's like got all these cool ideas. I uh, anyways, like, um, the micro dosing. Have you guys ever done that? Just kind of like during the daytime? Is that for uh, psilocybin? Uh, yeah. Yeah. I've always been a macro dosing kind of guy. <laughs> Just macro everything, Trevor Moore. Yeah. <laughs> somebody, somebody from oh, man, Twitch sent yourself. me that a is... fucking ton of shrooms. Really? Mm-hmm. Really? Wait, is it legal? It's not legal. You giving out your PO box to all these. Uh, they people. sent it to our business manager, who <laughs> forwarded it to me. So wait, is that a sent us shrooms? Yeah, me, not you, me. Oh. Because cool. uh, I was I was talking about it on on uh, Collective Souls. See, people ask me for That's a cool. PO box, and a lot of the you know a lot of people are like, I would like to knit you a hat. Can I get your PO box? And I'm like, Yeah, sure. But then I'm like, mm. <laughs> I mean, I'd love a knit hat, but then you know you're gonna get shit like that. I don't want to get. I was stoked. Well, yeah, but you know, I mean, I'm in a situation where I can't, I don't want to get drugs in the mail. So, will you do mushrooms? Will you eat mushrooms? Yeah, I mean, so. Yeah, I'm sober. I don't drink or do or do drugs anymore. But I I do think that um, shrooms, uh, under the right circumstances with the right intention, I think I could do it. Yeah. 
Yeah. You know I, mean? I think they're, if they're, I, it, it would it wouldn't be about getting fucked up. It would be about like taking stock of my mind and my place in in time. And I'm 40, and I feel like I would do it like introspectively. I yeah. think that would be cool. And if I get a little fucked up along the way, then what? I have to fucking, yeah, yeah. you know, blaze one down and chuck one down all good. Do you remember that time in North Carolina? Oh, dude, that, that was the craziest. Oh, I went from like the worst trip to like an amazing trip. Yeah, like just a total 180. Um, and Sam, you know, Sam turned me around on that trip. Sam what? Like, so Sam gave us all like chocolates, like these big chocolates that had an eighth of mushrooms ground. I think there was also acid in it, honestly. Uh, yeah, those mushrooms or those chocolates, if they're the same I had. Those are the worst. That's the worst way to take mushrooms. It's Trevor, you not remember those? Good. It was so intense, man. It yeah. just came on so hard. Like Zach and I, I think we just we crashed. I I was having the worst trip. I, I was. I remember we both went into separate rooms, but we were listening to Harry Nilsson. And it was that uh, the point album. So there's like it's song, spoken word, song, spoken word. Oh, and I remember there was some guy where he's pretending to be a like a he's like y'all buzzing with the bees. And I was like laying in bed, like bad tripping my fucking brains out. And I was like not the bees. I was like Nicolas Cage in that <laughs> movie. And I like got up and I'd like oh it's terrible, yeah. dude. <laughs> yes, I I like finally made it outside, still just tripping really bad. And I like look over. And Sam like had shaved his head and he had like a mohawk and he was playing like a little like Fisher Price xylophone and he's trying to play a song with it. Like there's six notes like ding, 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 ding. And I was just sitting there like staring at Sam and that just brought me into a good trip. Oh, <laughs> totally turned it around. Yeah. And I went and sat next to him and then had an amazing time. Yeah. That was a, it, it, it a got good. It got real good. buddy, man, I think. But I feel like if you take shrooms like a ton all at once, you're going to have that kind of like, as the roller coaster is going up, it's going to be intense and it's not always great, you know? And then your your body kind of fights the poison, then you win, and then you kind of come down and it's like magnificent, you know? Um, I don't think I really knew that. I don't think I understood when we did that, like the anatomy of a trip. So I just wasn't prepared for like that, that I mean, I'd shroomed before, but I'd never shroomed that hard before. So it kind of caught me off guard. I feel like now, like just eat a little bit, just a tiny little bit, let your brain like crack the code and then up the dosage. Yeah. You know, someone in the chat said the best way to do it is by, is through tea. And I agree. I've, yeah, like, I've done that. He's the best way. Yeah, good. Yeah. yeah. Is it, what makes it so good? It's, it's, it's just, it, it's a gradual thing. Like, Oh, I mean, I guess how you do it. I mean, if you just like drink a whole pot of tea at once, like, right. you know, but like, it's a, it's a gradual build. Does so. it still take like 30, 45 minutes to kick in or? Yeah. Yeah. It still takes, still takes time. But yeah. that's kind of weird. Cause it's like, you have a warm cup of tea and what do you just drink like half of it to ease into it? And you have to wait like 30 minutes before you have any more. Um, I don't know. I've always just you know, just drink like, oh, I'm out right. of tea. I'll drink more. I'll Right. Yeah. Like, I just like, whenever we do these, I'm like, I drink two cups of tea that I just finished. You know what I mean? So like, it's like, what, an hour and a half. So then, you know. <laughs> Someone says, I disagree. Tea is immediate. Really? Okay. Yeah. So people are saying that I'm, that I'm wrong. It's faster. Well, and it might be. I don't you know, remember. Maybe but... there's different uh, teas, but uh, you know what? The reason that they were talking about uh, legalizing all that and why it already has happened in some places is because it's basically used to help with like uh, like depression and anxiety yeah. and OCD and stuff like that, right? So and, bo and boredom. <laughs> right. Yeah. But the, I, I've talked about it on this stream before, but there's a, there's an amazing book called How to Change Your Mind by Michael Pollan, who's like he wrote like yeah. the Omnivore's Dilemma and In Defense yep. of Food. It is so so good i highly recommend it um but he gets into how like you know we were like as a society like you know in the 60s like learning so much with lsd about like how to treat trauma and depression and anxiety and all these things and it was it was literally like changing society for the better and then vietnam and the hippies kind of got out of control and it was like totally stigmatized and criminalized and we like ended a really amazing, like miraculous breakthrough, like just got the kibosh put on it. And now in the last like three years, like the stigma is like, you know, going away. And I feel like we're gonna have a lot more research into like tripping and LSD and shrooms and stuff like that. And it's like, 
I'm really excited of like what could happen to yeah. like us in the future. Do, well, and ecstasy do you think it's to treat stuff too for a while? You know, they were studying that, and yeah. that's another one where it kind of became a casualty of that attitude. You know, do you think it's because everybody hated hippies? Like yeah. that hippies, like yeah. hippies, hippies got into it, and people were like, well, I, I don't fucking do that now. Like, yeah. like, dude, if I take that stuff, I'm gonna want to listen to that like, "Come On to the Country" song. Oh, Fuck God. that. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> I just think it, it got used wrong. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I think like Timothy Leary, like kind of was like the worst person for for <laughs> acid, you know. And who was the other guy, Ken Kesey, and like yeah. those kind of guys? Like they were just so obnoxious. <laughs> yeah. The um, what was I gonna say? I forget. You're too high, man. <laughs> but it's kind of crazy that like there's this mushroom that is like kind of been cultivated and evolved because when it is ingested by like human beings it gives you a spiritual experience like right. how fucking fascinating is that there's this like mm. thing that the earth makes that forces you to have a spiritual reckoning that's right. that's if that doesn't fucking spark a curiosity you're dead dude. right yeah well there's that, that great that Hicks that Hicks oh. <laughs> yeah. jinx yeah about oh. how god is in a cow's ass yeah <laughs> Well, I like means, I like that we're just doing Joe Rogan. A yeah. mushroom, and that's why we're here. <laughs> Walked along and ate a mushroom, and now there's human beings. Yeah. Whoa. Welcome back to Joe Rogan experience. Yeah. Well, who's that dude? That <laughs> says he, uh, who's that guy? Uh, Paul Stamets. He suggests that humans actually descended from uh, giant 300 million year old mushrooms. Something like that. Yeah, I saw him speak once, and he's uh, he's an interesting guy. They named a Star Trek character after him. On uh, the new Star Trek show, but anyways, so uh, do you guys want to watch some more sketches now that we're all uh, fiending for shrooms? <laughs> Let's watch uh, "There Will Be Blood." All right, I'll find a scene from that. <laughs> Someone said, uh, "If we hit hype train, I could I should talk about a sketch that I shot in Portland and put on my personal YouTube channel." I'm like, no, it's not very good. <laughs> I'll watch it. Yeah, it's okay. It's really weird. Is it the am Amino Quackos? Yeah, that one. Yeah. It was one I wrote to pitch to you guys and then just never did. Uh, and then I'm like, I don't know, a bunch of my friends in Portland were like, we should shoot something. And I'm like, okay, so we did that. But don't worry. Whenever someone says, I think one of the other characters was, was Zach or somebody, I'm like, no, 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 no. They're not involved in this. Don't You don't fucking hold them to this. <laughs> this is my fault. <laughs> 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 like a it's so hard boom, to not don't watch, you like, just want to watch it. It's so boring. <laughs> Why do you guys boring? That? Yeah. That was really? your favorite movie. You're fucking no, it's crazy. not. You keep thinking that my favorite movie was uh, No Country for no Old Country. Men. Remember, because those both came yeah. out of like the same month. But you love stuff. There Will Be Blood. You used to watch it all the fucking time, dude. No, I didn't. I so watched. That was I, mean. Yeah, Darren watched. Darren that. was. I remember yeah. we would go to your room and you would be you would hit play on both of them at the same time. And you're like, this is the ultimate pleasure experience, and you'd have two screens, oh. and you'd start, no, no. and you're like, that they're going to sync up like Pink Floyd and that Dark Side. Darren, like Darren and I did that. Oh really? Okay. Yeah. We dragged. We were in that housing. We dragged and pulled a TV from one of the rooms down the hallway into the other room, put two TVs next to each other, and then press play on both of them at the same time. Yeah. So wait, you think that's boring, Trevor? You don't like that movie? Th that that scene is boring. Oh my god! Uh, I was like instantly into it, man. Oh like, uh, no, he's, he's, he's like he's like oh, I'm gonna talk to you in a napkin. And then he's like, that's my son. And he's like, I see him. He's like, you see him? He's like, yeah. Do you see my son? I'm like, okay, come on, do something, fight. <laughs> do <laughs> something, fucker. Daniel, for a second, I forgot that his character's name was Daniel. I'm like, what? Did they? <laughs> wait, Trevor, did you see the Phantom Thread? Yeah. Did you like it? It's fucking boring too. Ah! Oh! You know what? Weird, weird full circle thing, guys. I was thinking about because Phantom Thread, uh, not to spoil anything, but uh, poisonous mushrooms made in tea and soup is a big plot point of Phantom Thread. Yeah. yeah. It's like, hey, yeah, uh, do you want, uh, uh, you know, uh, let's make a movie. Oh, that's cool. What do you want to make it about? Uh, dressmaker. <laughs> yeah. My and God. Sorry, it's not Rambo. Jesus right. But, but the thing is, it's like you say it's a dressmaker, but then you find out who's. Playing it. I mean, I watched Daniel fucking Day Lewis play any character. You did know you what like I mean? the master, Trevor? I did like the master. I want to rewatch it. I haven't seen that in years. Yeah. Oh. 
pretty I, awesome. I love the master. I loved Phantom Thread. I think that's probably yeah. my Boogie Nights. Probably my favorite. Then Phantom Thread. I cannot get into Inherent Vice. It's I like so, Inherent Vice. There, uh, Zach. Uh, I still have your copy of the book, by the way. You gave yeah, me. Fine. You let me that copy that like ten years ago. I, I couldn't uh, finish the book. I had the same reaction to the movie that I had to the book, where I was just like, yeah, "What am I doing?" Yeah, a little all over the place. You know, I love that kind of stone detective vibe, but I wanted a little more focus. Yeah. Like uh, the Long Goodbye, the Robert Altman movie is so fucking perfect. Yeah. I feel like that's what Inherent Vice wanted to be and didn't do it. You know. Ron Gina says, "What about the Phantom Pain? What is that? What is the Phantom Pain?" The Phantom Pain is a Metal Gear game. <laughs> oh. It was like the final chapter. I knew of Metal I knew Gear that. Solid. Yeah, I think a lot of Paul Thomas Anderson's movies are boring to me. You like Boogie mm. Nights? Not really. Ah! See, you guys, you can't. I mean, I love Trevor, but like, we can't do this. You don't him. like Boogie Nights? <laughs> I mean, no. it's okay. I've seen it a long time ago. I haven't seen it. He's really surprised me. I, I mean, am surprised. It's it's an, it's a massive. But then Trevor watched Terminator one, two, and three, and like three the most. Yeah, because they blow yeah. everything up at the end. Fucking idiot! <laughs> oh man, I love that. Like, <laughs> I don't know which one of these is not taught to teach people how to write scripts. Oh, I love that one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wait, here's a question. I don't know why I'm fa- I'm going to ask this, but I do want to know the answer. Trevor, have you ever seen a scary movie that scared you? Why do I feel like the answer is no? No, I, I thought uh, when I was a kid, I thought Event Horizon was scary. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I thought The Shining was scary when I was younger. What about uh, as a, in the last 20 years of your life? Well, no, I don't know how people get, you can't get scared at a movie when you're an adult. Because then it's like, it's all fake. I mean, like. That's such was, a Trevor answer. It really is. It I love really it. It really is. <laughs> So, how, how, what, I mean, what are you, we're not you, saying that's bad. We're just saying it's of. it's not the wrong end because I'm a oh. because I'm a I have mirth and whimsy in my soul and I like to get lost in the movies and sometimes I get spooked. I yes, I mean I'm not broken know, inside. You can understand <laughs> that it's a fabrication, but still allow the you know. But I mean, what do you think's gonna happen when you get scared at a movie? Like, what are you scared of? Well, it, it, you're not talking about yourself. It's like you're invested in the fear. Why watch any story if you can't put yourself in the protagonist? That's why it's called protagonist. Can you watch a movie and like root for someone? Sure. Then you can be afraid for them. Yeah. Well, I'm not really afraid of them for them though. I mean, like it's a movie. But also, see, if they win the game, that doesn't not sound really like you're having. Game, so who gives a shit? I guess. Why see anything? <laughs> yeah, I just because it sounds like you don't enjoy watching things. <laughs> I like watching things. All right, no, I, and I'm not trying to jump on your back. I just it's an enjoyable. I mean, you know what? You know what? The thing about horror movies is they'll do uh, the things that, that'll get you is they'll be like, oh, it's very quiet. No, it's loud like that. And like, you'll be like, okay, well, you made me jump because you just changed the volume drastically. <laughs> right. <laughs> you know, well, but I mean, like. The, uh, that's not the only way that a good horror film gets us scared. Though. Yeah, I, mean, I agree. Thank you, Tim. There's, there's a lot of, uh, there's so many different ways. That's why, you know, a couple weeks ago, we were talking about horror movies because it was October, it was Halloween or whatever. Sam was dissing that recent one, Sinister, that I had actually, and he didn't like it. I had just seen it too and liked it a lot. And I like one reason I liked it is because they did a lot of different kinds of scares. They did the jump scare, but then they also did things where it was just kind of a, like you knew what was going to happen and still just when it happened, you're just like, oh, fuck, you know? Like, I just yeah. thought that was a cool, uh, you know, whether or not the script or story or whatever was the best, like just the amount of different terror in it was really good. They did uh, yeah, a lot I, of that I, in uh, Air Bud. Huh? They did a lot of that in Air Bud. Right, like just a really uh, going through the scope of different kinds of way to create fear. <laughs> I saw that It movie. Mm-hmm. Like The new one? Yeah. Part one? Yeah. Yeah. Here it comes. Go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> look at the look on his face. I just don't get it. I like, I was watching it and I mean, just like, this is the dumbest fucking thing I've ever seen. <laughs> I'm not super, I didn't even see It part two. I really like the book, but... Um, I didn't, but I, I was I, the movie's all right, but I, I didn't feel like watching part two. Oh, it was three hours long. Also, it's like, man, uh, most of my favorite horror movies are like eighty-five minutes. You know, <laughs> somebody in somebody in chat was talking about the Resident Evil game freaked them out, and I think Trevor, that that I'd be interested to see you in a dark room playing a horror video game. I wonder if that would scare you. Original Silent Hill, man, the first Silent Hill. 
That game is fucking Maybe. spooky. I never played it. But I don't think it would. I don't think I, I feel like that part of your brain is broken. I have a hard time playing story mode on games. Yeah, you do. It's funny. Yeah. I, I, I only like playing online with people that I can hear them get upset. Yeah, right. It's like I remember watching you try to play like maybe story the story on Call of Duty or something, and you're basically like, Well, I can't bother anybody, so why am I doing it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. It's like, why would you do this when you can't fucking troll twelve year olds? <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's why my favorite game to this date is still uh, Call of Duty 3 because they right. had they fucked up the mechanics of it and so you could shoot somebody if you were a medic you could bring people back to life and you could shoot somebody on your team have them die and then you could bring them back to life but then they couldn't move for like five seconds after you bring them back to life so you could shoot them again and then just keep bringing them back to life. And you could, if you if you trap somebody somewhere in the map where no one else was, you could do it the whole game. And you just have somebody being like, "Why are you doing this, man?" <laughs> That's so fucking rude. I love the glitches it. Glitches in that game were just incredible. I remember like crawling underneath a cabin where just people are spawning and they're just showing up, and you're just like, "Bam." Bam, bam. <laughs> I remember when we would all we were all living in New York, but we'd play, you know, we'd be each separately at our homes and play to play those games together. And you two, Trevor and Darren, were always finding the fucking glitches so you could drop into them and like snipe people the whole time. It's like, you guys, can't we just capture the flag? <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. Hey, let me do some thank yous. We got a lot, <coughs> a lot going on. I'm gonna run an ad. Thank some folks real fast. Hang on. Um, I have just realized how I've been missing all these gifted subs. So, Reflopian Tubes, thank you for gifting my friend. Fucking awesome. Um, hold on, hold on, hold on. Big Bad John V, thank you, man, for gifting. That's fucking fantastic. Uh, Chipotle Sizzle, I appreciate you. Ellis Rogers, thank you so much. Ricky June, thank you, thank you, thank you, guys. Um... Let's see, let's see. No Scope JFK donated and says, since the Obama plates aren't happening, can we get a Spindrift LaCroix Limeade chug off? If Darren wins, I'll donate an extra $20. No pressure, Darren. Something to I think have about. A, I Any, have something to say about that when you're done. Any Hayes donated 25 bucks. Thank you, Any Hayes. He says, I appreciate what you've done for high school talent shows. I'm older. We had to do Dorf and the first Olympics. Rough. That sounds like oh. hell. <laughs> uh, registry your homestead donated says I'm loving the parenting advice give my kids pot and impose no boundaries you got it buddy you heard it here yeah, first dude. sweaty <laughs> hog 69 donated awesome. says did any of you know how anyone wait did any of you know anyone who snapped after taking Sykes I've never had a bad time but I know people who snapped I do know somebody who snapped yes but I he I think he was schizophrenic and it just brought out his schizophrenia yeah. that's usually what it is though yeah. Yeah. it's like there's an underlying thing in there yeah. anyway right who is the best beastie boy I don't have an opinion. I loved I loved MCA. That was Darren Eats Farts. Asked that question. <laughs> <laughs> and M Shells donated and says, Well, I'll be a shit covered dick. The salad right here tastes like a big fucking pussy. And he acqui- he attributes that quote to Abe Lincoln. Uh all right. <laughs> well, I'll be a shit covered dick. That that yeah. is a good line. That's a good line, yeah. And the delivery is perfect. <laughs> Uh, someone, the, the, okay, chugging, uh, fizzy drinks. Uh, I did, a, you know, a few weeks ago, I was talking about how I like, uh, did a beer bong stunt on a talk show once in Portland. Well, that same guy once had me chug a bunch of Shasta, like orange soda. And I chugged like a tall boy of it. And, uh, that made me throw up immediately. Oh, we used to throw up a lot. You, you used right. to always puke whenever you drank. And it was just yeah. like, so I would like start, but I would also then after that, I would be, I could drink forever after that. You know, like I was always up last with Trevor, but like the thing is, is my first drink or two, I'd puke. And then I was good for like the rest of the night, you know, so weird. Yeah. But, oh um, my God. I remember I had a party at my apartment on, in like South 11th, like that mm-hmm. big loft. Yeah, I remember yeah. you like you puked on the on the floor. It wasn't bad because you would never puke a whole ton. You would just be like, oh, right. blah, blah. Yeah. <laughs> but, it, but it always it always caught you by surprise. Like you right. would never expect that you'd be in the conversation. You're like, yeah, no, I think I've been. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, one thing is I'm always fucking talking, and the other thing is is like what's weird about that is like I knew I know it's gonna happen because like for the year that I was drinking before I moved to New York, it it was happening then. Like I knew that was within me but yeah your impression was bang on but then that same party one of you guys was puking 
No, Sam went into my bathroom. By the way, I had nine roommates. Sam goes in the bathroom to puke. Oh, this. And this. Trevor is guarding the door. And it's my apartment and my roommate because I was like, your friends are getting out of control. And like one of them is throwing up in the bathroom. So I go and, and I'm like, I'm like going to the bathroom to be like, Sam, you got to like clean it up in there. And Trevor's like blocking the door. He's like, no, you can't go in. You can't go in. I'm, I'm standing guard. Like, and you were that level of drunk where it was like, this is my sacred job and I will not fail him. And I like, but I like opened the door and I peeked in and Sam was sitting on the toilet. With his pants on, not shitting, barfing onto the floor. And I was like, uh-huh. and I was like, Sam, barf into the toilet. And Trevor's like, you gotta leave him alone. You gotta leave him alone. I was like, he's puking everywhere. I was mm. like, there's a toilet right there. And you're like, I can't let you in, Zach. <laughs> like totally took on the bouncer wall. Uh, was that the night that the bike got thrown off the roof? No. So then Damn. my other roommate got us evicted because that was that night. He he threw a bike out the window. We lived on the ninth floor, so he threw his own bicycle out the window Mm -hmm. and then went up on the roof and threw a cinder block through the cab of a truck. Like it hit it hit the roof of a truck and it punctured and went into the cab. And we got evicted. That was what's his name? That was Rob. Who then the next so we got evicted. I didn't see Rob. And then I remember after a Whitest Kid show, we were like walking through the lower side, we're wasted. And I see Rob sitting on the sidewalk in handcuffs with like three cops yeah, surrounding him. And I was like, yeah. he's like sitting there in cuffs. I'm like, Rob, what's up, dude? And he's like, I can't talk right now. And I was like, what's going on? Are you okay? And he's like, no, I'm going to jail. I was like, oh, man. I like just didn't get it. I was wasted. I was like, how have you been? He's like, bad. <laughs> So oh, you basically had the PCP sketch kind of happen in real life. Yeah. Like, how are oh. you? I'll get arrested. That's great. It wasn't like he was always like, uh, like, I remember the funny thing about Rob was that on when 9-11 happened, yes. like he had been out partying the night before. And so he was super hungover. So he didn't wake up till like 5 p.m. that day. Yeah. And he was like. And he like when he wakes up because he's like a degenerate or was like and he was, was like, a gonna, degenerate man. He was like, all right, I'm gonna go to a bar, like you know. So he goes like to a bar and he's like drinking at the bar and everyone's quiet. And he's like, what the fuck's going on in here? And then he sees on the TV them playing the plane hitting the World Trade Center. He's like, what the fuck? And he like <laughs> goes outside and he looks where the World Trade Centers would be and they're gone. He's like, what the fuck? <laughs> he's like, he was the last man to find out about 9/11. <laughs> He, yeah. he yeah. wanted to be a cop, and he his dad is a cop. His brothers are cops. Like, he comes from a cop family, and he applied to be a cop, and he, he failed the psych exam. Like, yes. New York City cops were like, nah, dude, you're crazy. Like a <laughs> foregone conclusion, man. Uh. He, on the, uh, he used to, on St. Patrick's Day, like, anybody who was wearing that cat in the hat, the green and white, mm-hmm. he, they yeah. used to go around and just punch people. Yeah, he <laughs> would, if... On St. Patrick's Day, he would go into the city, and if you were wearing that hat, he would punch you in the face. And just yes. like, and he was that such a scrapper, sense, like nobody could fight, no one could be, beat him. He was, a little he was just like knocking people. He'd come home with his hands all fucking bloody. <laughs> this one, my roommate, I'd be like, what's up? He's like, dude, I fucking wrecked so many people. Like, <laughs> he is the inspiration for our Clarence McKenna sketch Ugh. that is like based. Yes. Fully yeah. on yeah. Rob. And also, speaking of sketches uh, and Rob, if anyone wants to put a face to the name, he's in the Mountain Dew sketch. Mm. All right. The, the oh, yeah. Which it never made it to sh- to the show. Right, but it's been. I saw someone put it on the Reddit recently. It's yeah. it's what, around. What happened to Rob? Is, does anybody know? I have no idea, dude. Mm. But yeah, one one day it, he was wasted at our apartment, and it was on, it was like five in the afternoon. It was daytime, and he got in a fight with his girlfriend on the phone. I'm like sitting, I'm like laying on the couch, like reading a book. And he was like, no, and he, he like threw the phone down, picked his bike up, opened our window, just like threw his bike out the window. We're on the ninth floor in Brook. It's like, there's people. I was just like, dude. Wait, didn't Gary Oldman live in that building too? Yeah, Gary Oldman yeah. lived in the penthouse. <laughs> Yeah. So, because all it's because every now and then there's the weird thing about going to Zach's place, you'd be like fucked up in an elevator, and then Gary Oldman would get in and be like, oh, geez. Because I remember that once because there was just some guy like in like a cool green jacket standing in the corner, and then like we walked out, and we're, yeah, we're all 
fucking half to the wind, whatever. And then someone's like, that was Gary Oldman. I'm like, what? Well, you want to know something <laughs> crazy? Why so now I live, in, I live in my house yeah. across the street, Gary Oldman's house. No. Literally across the street. And I would, one, I, I like got to know his sons okay. They're like kind of, I think they're fans because like they saw me once and they came over like, oh, hey man. We're, um, oh, cool. But uh, I came out one day and I heard Gary Oldman in his yard. This is like in the middle of the day and he's, and he's going, Give me the fucking money! Give me the fucking money! Give me the fucking money! And I was just like, what is happening on the other side of that wall? And then I realized he's, he's fucking running lines. Right, he's, like, he's doing method He's walking shit. around okay. his backyard just like screaming lines. He's probably yelling at his dog. Like, or he's really mean to his money. agent. I have no idea. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. I've seen uh, No by Mel. Uh yeah, many many years ago I saw it. Yeah, that's I fucking love that movie. He's Do you think he recommended that? It's so fucking yeah. Because I know you've recommended that one, Darren. I, for, I always forget to watch it. Do you think Gary Oldman recognizes that he has lived next to you for twenty years? <laughs> well, he actually moved two years ago. He doesn't live there anymore. Oh okay. But um, no, because I never saw him in in Brooklyn. Everyone else would be like, "Dude, I was in the elevator with Gary Oldman." I was like, "I've never oh, really? fucking seen him." And I was always like, one day I'll I'll work with Gary Oldman, and I'll be like, you know, we've been neighbors for two, you know, two states and two decades or something like that. I I live uh well, I there's a summer that I sub uh, rented uh, Mike's place, mm -hmm. you know, and um, so I lived yeah. under uh, what's his name Sam um, uh, Sam uh, Rockwell. Sam Rockwell. Yeah. So, so Sam Rockwell lived on the apartment above me. And there's only, I mean, this, there's a nice loft. Like it was basically one apartment per floor. So he, he, Sam Rockwell was there. And I was like at home drunk one night and uh, someone had recommended the movie Moon. Mm. You know that movie? Yeah. And so I like watched it and I was like, this is awesome. I really loved it. But I, I was drunk. I was like, I'm, I was like, Sam Rockwell did a great job in this thing. He did really good. And I was like, I should just tell him, you know, I was like, I was like, you know, people are probably just so, he probably people probably don't tell him how much how good jobs he did in uh, in movies because they think he won't like it. But like, you know, we live in the same building. It's fine. Like, so I go open the door and I go up to his apartment and like and I'm about to knock. And I for some reason, just like the non drunk Trevor, like got control of the brain for a second. I was like, this is a bad idea. <laughs> go back downstairs like that. And I was like, but I was like literally about to knock. And I was like, oh, let me see if I still think it's a good idea in 20 minutes. And I was like, oh, no, I don't. Oh, bad. my God. <laughs> that would have been a great moment, though. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Oh, Mike would have been so mad. He would have been like, you did what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. But what if I did it? He was like, you know what? No one ever says I did a good job in things because people are so like, what if I was 100 percent right? And he was like, yeah. do you want to oh be best God. friends? <laughs> the whole time I was shooting Moon, I was just like, man, I hope someone likes this. And I never found out. Yeah. Do you know what a nightmare you would have created? Well, anyway, sorry, this is weird. But I live downstairs. See you around the building. It's like I'll be oh, here all God. summer order, ordering dominoes. Yeah, it's going to be weird again. It's going to be weird again. Sorry, dude. <laughs> You guys want to watch another sketch or something? What do you guys want to do? I kind of uh, yeah, let's I, watch another one. Let's uh, watch one more, and then I, I have to go pretty soon. Yeah, I'm gonna. Yeah, I'm gonna uh, it's getting late here. Uh, well, my list says you're. Oh yeah, you said you weren't feeling well. My list says happier with your mouth open, mountain of chairs, back of the bus, Fight Club, and Demon Ouija board. So you guys pick one. I'll be right back. I gotta go to the bathroom. Um, I don't, I don't even. Care. I didn't even hear what he said. No, I wasn't paying attention. I was looking at chat. Um. Uh, yeah. What, what he said, Mountain of Chairs. He said that. Well, I think uh, we do. Oh, so, somebody donated last week for Mountain of Chairs, and then we didn't do it. Do so it. I feel like maybe we should just do that. Let's do it. It'll be fun to watch our season one. Yeah. Give me the fucking money. Uh, a bubs, thank you. Sanguine hatred, thank you. Something not cliche. Swebcrafter, crafter, sweet TV, Oxman. I appreciate all of you subbing. Tugboat Johnson, thank you for gifting. So nice of you guys. Tugboat Johnson. Tugboat Johnson. 
Getting high with dinosaurs gifted. I missed you earlier. I appreciate oh. it. Crawl space kid. That's a funny name. Motublo. <clears throat> Very cool. Very cool stuff happening. Should I wait for Timmy to come back? Well, you can get it ready, I guess. It is ready. No, it is. Ah. Let's just jump in. We don't need Timmy to watch the sketch. We can watch it without Good him. point. Let me move the move the chat. Fire it up. Come here! Yes, father! Timothy, your father? Shoot! Timothy, your mother and I are going to the opera tonight. Now I know that before today, you have been left in the charge of a babysitter. Yes. However, today is your 13th birthday. It is? Well, what day is it? Let me write it down. Let me find a pen. Timmy, shut! <laughs> Now, since you are 13 years old, your mother and I, <gasps> your mother and I have decided to leave you alone tonight. I have left the number of the theater on the refrigerator. I have informed our neighbor, Mr. Gudge, that you will be left unattended. Should any emergencies arise, you are to go directly to him. We will return at 11.30. I expect you in bed, asleep, teeth, Cleaned! Homework done! Retainer! Shush! Now, Timothy, since you are 13 years old, I shall now touch you for the first time physically in the form of a handshake. Wow, my father's hand! It feels just like I thought it would! Happy birthday, son. Thank you, sir. Yes. Gloria? Sweet! <laughs> I'm gonna live on a mountain of chairs. I'm gonna live on a mountain of chairs. Mom and dad are gone and nobody cares, so I'm gonna live on a mountain of chairs. I'm gonna live on a mountain of chairs. I'm gonna live on a mountain of chairs. Mom and dad are gone and nobody cares, so I'm gonna live on a mountain of chairs. Did you hear about the boy that lived on the mountain? The mountain of chairs? I heard that he built the mountain on his birthday. What day is it? We don't know, but his birthday comes every two years. Yeah, I'm gonna. Oh, 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 no. You have been very disobedient. I know, Father. I'm sorry. Shush! Tell me, Timmy. Have you gone today? Yes, sir. Once this morning. And did you save it as I request? Yes, sir. It's in a plastic bag in my dresser. Bring me your sin, Timothy. This sin is especially long and dark today. I know, sir, I'm sorry. What have you done to create such a specimen? I had a thought about a girl. Timothy! <sighs> because you are 13 years old, you will now be punished as an adult. Extend your left arm, Timothy. Take your Shush! Arm! Gloria! Bring me the device. Excuse me. Oh. Who are you? Child services. Don't tear my family apart. No, please tear my family apart. I don't know what day my birthday is. <laughs> You've no right to tell me how to raise my family. Actually, I do. I see that you've completely cut your child off from the outside world. You've taught him that his poop is sin. And I'm seeing some bruises on your wife. She what fell down the stairs. Oh. I'm seeing these things. And they're pretty bad. But that's what I see. Doesn't have to be what I say. Someone's got to stop me from seeing this stuff. I need some blinders. Are blinders expensive? About a hundred bucks each. It's a hundred dollars. All right, now I don't see the wife, but I still see the kid with the poop. <laughs> Now I just see you. And now I'm seeing my way to the door. Shine on, you crazy Mormons. I don't know if we stick the landing there. 
Not no. You crazy Mormons doesn't feel like a good. Tag. No. I always liked it. Yeah. It's a, it's a nice swipe at a religion. Yeah. <laughs> it's bigoted, so that's cool, I guess. <laughs> yeah. My favorite part about that is that like you're trying to lie about hitting your wife and uh, in, in front of child services. And you're like, she fell out of the stairs. She's like, I fell off my bike. And you go, ooh, like, like in front of the child services guy. When yeah. trying to, yeah. <laughs> it's funny, like, Sam has that line. I'm like, in bed, teeth cleaned. And then Sam's, his line is, in retainer, in. But, like, he doesn't even get to say, like, in live, in the live version, you go, in retainer, in. I would go, shush, retainer, in. But I don't. Nobody in the world can understand what Sam is saying. No. That thing. It's just weird. Mr. Gludge? Mr. Gludge! Mr. Gludge! Yeah. Timmy, you're, Timmy muted. you're muted. Oh, Jesus Christ. Sorry. Uh, so uh, when we would do that sketch live, Mr. Gludge, Zach could be staring at me, and we'd just be staring at each other, and you'd just say, Mr. Gludge! And, I mean, I could. I, I had such a problem holding myself together when you would look at me in the eye and scream, Mr. Gludge. I just always started laughing. It's so funny. Yeah. The, uh, so the, one of the best. Huh? Yeah, you, you truly are. Uh, so the, the chair mountain, when we shot it for TV, was very controlled, right? What, didn't they kind of like tell me how I had to put it together and stuff? So like, well, Sounds right. It's not the sound right. Because on, sta- I mean, on live shows, it was just like, I'll just stack up some chairs and climb it. And that was as far as the planning went, you know? But yeah. I think I was... I think for that, what they told me like, okay, you put this one here, this one here, and then climb up this way so that it was all, you know... Did it safe. ever go south? I'm, I mean, when we did it live, I'm sure it fell over sometimes, but never like, I don't it think did. I got like, huh? It did. Like the chairs would fall over and you'd right. put them up. And, yeah. Yeah, it, I don't think I got like fucked up from it or anything. Like this, by, this might be my favorite comment I've ever seen and it's on since we've been on Twitch here, uh-huh. which is dead stupid 420. He just writes, can y'all do a sketch like this? <laughs> No, sadly, we, we can't. What's the poop made out of? Good question. What was it Y'all made out of for the show? Like Do you guys remember? <laughs> Never mind that there was like a comment we got on a sketch and they were just wrote fake. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. It, it was. It was yeah. There's just so many different, uh, you know, when it's on YouTube or something, a sketch like, you know, it's just out there. There's so many, you don't know how people are going to be experiencing it. You know, it's just so weird. Like, okay, so what viewpoint were they coming from where they're like this? No, wait, this is not real. This is fake. Like they came to it thinking it would be real, you know, like. He was probably just on a fake binge. I think we should uh, eat some mushrooms and think about it. I love how you that- get the top of the set and not the chairs. Like when the camera pans up and you can just see like. Oh, the- can you? I didn't yeah. notice that. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. Well, it's really cool that, I mean, you know, with, with the kind of sitcom setup we had for shooting those sketches, it's cool that we were able to have the one shot and you could see me do the whole thing, you know. Honestly, I would have been happy if we shot the entire series on a shitty looking set like that with like three cameras. And the, and yeah. You I mean, could look- shoot so fast. It doesn't yeah. matter that it looks like shit. It really yeah. doesn't matter. Yeah, it was it, it was such a energy. better way to shoot. Yeah. I mean, think of this sketch. Think of Bigfoot versus Gravedigger or uh, the Screamers, Rape Role Play, all that stuff that we probably shot in one day. And like, it, but it all has that great energy to it, which I think is helped by this weird yeah thing, uh, house. I mean, <laughs> it's like night and day, though. Like how when they had like the union cameramen like working the three cameras, yeah. and like when it became lunch, they just stopped working. They just yeah. walked. Mm-hmm. And like the rest of the show, like on IFC, we would shoot like you know sixteen hour days, and yeah. that, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Please, sir, let us eat lunch. No, it's not rib day. <laughs> I remember I picked up a C stand to like move it because I, you know, we we used to just do everything, yeah, do everything, right? So it's like yeah. you hustle, and so like you know, we were like moving setups, and I like picked up a C stand to like carry it to the next stage, and like three guys were like. Put that down! Like, I was yeah. like, oh, there's like a union situation. Yeah, like, okay. you're not supposed to do that. I am the only one qualified. Yeah, to they're pick like, up he touches that. You don't touch that. I was like, fuck, yeah. dude. <laughs> well, I think I got to go, guys. All right. All right. Feel better, buddy. Yeah, thanks. But uh, good seeing you guys. Yeah, we rocked it. It was well, a good one. Again. Yeah. Yeah. About, uh, 
six days and 22 hours from now. We should do it again. Yeah, what's coming up this week? Or, or is there another uh, Sexy Socks? Oh. Oh, yeah. I don't know. I don't know if we're doing it every two weeks or every one week. Okay. Yeah, Sam. People enjoyed it, man. People thought it was yeah. fun. Yeah. Yeah. I watched um, it for a little bit. I liked it. Here. All right. Thanks. Everyone's saying you feel better. Thank you very much. All right. Later, Trav. Bye, Bye Trevor. Bye. Later. All right, and, dudes. Uh, well, we did it. We did it again. Um, Should we raid somebody? Yeah. Oh, hang on. Somebody just donated. Whoa. Fat Black Ninja just donated 50 bucks. Says, oh, what do I cool. say here? I got wasted in a French castle and puked everywhere. So there's one of my many drunk stories. Thanks for the laughs. Thank you, <laughs> Fat Black Ninja. That's very cool. Appreciate you, my friend. Thank Good you. Lord. We could, uh, yeah, we could raid somebody or uh, just stay here and just stare into the middle distance for 12, Ralph Lopian Tubes is gifting like crazy. Thank you, Ralph Lopian Tubes. You fucking angel. Um, yeah, our PCP jug has more than it looks like it does. We need to update that. That's How that's do we do problem. that? I don't, I'm not the guy to do <clears> things. <throat> All right, dudes. Cool. All right, good session. Cool, y'all. Thank you, everybody in chat. Later, Darren. Wait, who do we want to raid? Does anybody have any raid ideas? Raid Rob? Raid Rongina? We could raid Rongina. Raid, Rongina. raid Rubber Ninja. Raid Official WKK. Eh, I don't think that works that way. Let's raid Rongina. Do it. All right, cool. Let's do, let me let me do that. All right. Hell oh, yeah. All right. Are you guys doing News Boys this Friday? Like oh, Monday? yeah. Always. When are you doing Collective Souls with a Z? Uh, I don't know, man. My, I'm, I've gotten a lot busier lately, so uh, I'll do it if I can, but it'll be just a day of decision. When I get my uh, my this monitor, uh, I want to stream some video games, so maybe I'll do that randomly when someone else has it. But uh, Zucchini Boys this week is going to be Thanksgiving side, so don't miss that, everybody. Cool, cool. Yeah, yeah I'm not going to cook a turkey because that takes like fucking six hours, but yeah. – uh, all right, homies, enjoy Rongina. Thanks for hanging out. Love you, dudes. See y'all later. Peace. Adios. Bye-bye. begins now.